The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interest at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Ice and Ish are talking behind my back. No, we talking uh, in, in your face. We no, that's your not face, true. Dog. I inserted myself that's in the conversation. But you was here. And at 43, I'm doing my best to appear pleasant on oh, camera. Oh, man. God, that's what you're you telling them? No, nah, for real. No, nah, that's a fact. At 43, some of that 42-year-old shit got to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yo. You evolved? Um, mm. When the OGs laugh at you, boy. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> but go ahead. You you were talking about your shorts. No, y'all was talking and referenced my no, shorts. No, I said Corey. I a- said I had on some lace shorts, which uh, oh, oh, ha ha, nigga. All right, they, cool. I mean, not trying to be funny. They do it like my grandmother's guy. tablecloth. But, my oh, birthday sh- outfit. Niggas was in the comments talking about. Like oh, he totally misread when his girl said get laced. Oh no, nah, that little that that's little, funny. That little jersey shit was. <laughs> You talking about the shit when you was on? <laughs> no, not that. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, you had that jersey Park's dress cracking. on. <laughs> Park's cracking. No, the jersey. Yo, that wasn't a one piece, was it? The jersey dress it, was crazy. Antoine. <laughs> Antoine. Yo, we going to dinner, man. We Yo, dog, apps. that was one piece? We getting appetizers and everything. We I know that was two talk. pieces. So then why are you asking me that? Because on the couch, you sound like, like stupid like niggas. Look, I'm giving you, yeah, I'm trying to give my man the benefit of the doubt. Oh, you had one a jumper piece on. He, said, <laughs> he said that. A romper? <laughs> oh, y'all think I'm wilding wild. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, maybe I've been wilding wild. Oh, no. If my dudes is thinking nah, that, I didn't. No, then I'm nah, wild. I was hoping wild. not, but I, now. I kept looking at it like, I don't know, that might I, be a nah, onesie. I said my man got the short Zoom in, it was a drawstring. It was shit going on. Short, sh- I, I say it's a short. Set. You know what's funny about niggas? It better not be. Was this the outfit on the stairs? Is that what you did? No. Right he was now? sitting on a couch. I liked it. I liked it. Oh, I'm not coming for you. Wow. I swear to God, you look <laughs> Holy clean. Holy shit. I just I clarification. I did not cut this on because I was getting clowned. I'm going to have to it. get off of this. That was an old picture from New Year's or some shit. Yeah, that was New Year's. I didn't want to take that picture. That's the problem, too. No, your being, little Emmett Smith joint. With being a fucking boyfriend. Sometimes your girl's like, hey, take this picture. And you don't want to take it. So you sit there like you don't want to take it. Like, yeah. <laughs> and now it come out and go by where everybody be like, oh, my God, look at your butt. You sit mm-hmm. there. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. She's like, well, I like it, nigga. No, just go ahead, man. What's 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 cheap? What are we saying for a pair of shorts? What is cheap for a pair of shorts? Ish asked me how much the shorts cost. Mm. I told him they were inexpensive. These were Kith shorts. Shout out to uh, no, he said Kith like Walmart. That's how you did it, like Old Navy. You see the new Old Navy commercials. They'd be like, oh, Navy. They'd be like, oh. That's how you did it. He's. That's what it is. <laughs> I don't typically wear. Yo, I don't dogs. Typically that's that's, the, that's that, the problem. That, oh, yeah, that's yeah, what that's we're talking problem, about. That, that, what they cost? 400 No. Cheaper? 300 <laughs> Three, 3 Cheaper. 99. Not Look, much cheaper. What do you know? Not much what cheaper. What do you. Hey, this is where you have the Newark boys have to submit. Joe, I'm tapping out, Paul. Thank you. Ice and shorts cost twenty dollars. You know they like forty. About to say these was not twenty. I wasn't. I got them. I have not twenty dollars. Those don't cost twenty dollars. I have have not twenty dollars. They cost forty dollars. I have forty. Also, look at ice. That's right. Look at me. Like we don't have. We're not the same stylistically at all. Is what I'm saying. You're a fashionista. I'm not. I don't even think I'm a. That's offensive. <laughs> at 43, that thing is... Stole. At 40, oh, stole. Oh, you're oh, actually oh, stole. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're trying me at 43. No, 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 you're a fashionista. Yeah. Yeah, I can hear, I can hear y'all. <laughs> a fashionista. I'm not. Gotcha. You, fashionista. You are, though. I'm not. And I'm still in a jokey, jokey mood. How you not a fashionista? You got a lime green, studded out, Louboutins. The studs are a little flavor. Sandals. <laughs> <laughs> Dogs Dog sandals. <laughs> Dog sandals. Lime green, my nigga. Yeah. That is the stuff. With the little stu- with studs. Studs. The studs oh, look, don't do it. Yo, no, no. Studs on the thong and around the and base. And the red bottom, though, too. I mean, they're too. fancy flip-flops. Yeah. What are those, like, 350 What? Uh, yeah, right? Mm-hmm. 
Three fifty for flip flops. On the dot. Yeah. Three fifty. I get on Javianas. On the Forty five dollars. Oh, no, I get to, on the I, I would have yeah. thought they cost more than three fifty. Me too. I did too. That's why you got them. You got them in all you colors. No, y'all keep painting these false narratives. Joe, you have thousand dollars. Wait, wait, wait. 40, time out. At forty three. You show, don't ever say somebody painting a false narrative. That was at forty two. <laughs> <laughs> that was three weeks ago. <laughs> that was at 40, a week ago. <laughs> it don't matter. That yo. was at forty two. Oh, Instagram man. gotta go, yo. My friends that I love are hurting my feelings. Oh, man, this guy. <laughs> that was at forty two. Like, nah, I'm gonna start. Nah, I got feelings too. That's where niggas be winning. They start. Whoever gets sad first is the winner. No. That is true. I'm, yeah, I'm hurt That's by true. what y'all are saying. <laughs> Almost to the point I could cry. I know. Oh, man. I'm an empath. <laughs> For real, y'all think so? It hurts when the people you think so highly of think so lowly of you is all I'm saying. Mm. I'm saying I got to go, you guys. Oh, man. And yeah, that's a nice fit. They said you like five of them? All right. Fashionisto. See you. Why you take that as a slight though? Yeah, because that's it's I don't a compliment. Know it, I, first off, I'm not taking it as a slight right. as I don't know what it means. You just said you was in. But um, I don't think that I'm what y'all are saying. Fashion bomb. What is I don't fashion? think fashion I'm a, bomb I don't daily. think I'm a fashion weekly. <laughs> and celebrated it. Yes, like facts. Yeah, it came in. Yeah, yeah I, think I was. I was happy to see that. And he said it was not my first time. No, I didn't know him. I'm no, I didn't. Him. It's, I'm, no, I'm you him. said, "Oh, and it's your first time." Yeah, and yeah. I responded uh -huh. with, uh -huh. "No, nigga, no, I no, bet him. No, I bet him." Yeah, you yeah, fucking white boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to this and true to this. I ain't new to this. That's what you said. I'm gonna look up fashionista. I don't even think it's a word, but go yeah. ahead. Well, y'all tell me what it means. Then. Fashionista is a word, so you just put the mail on that. Look yeah. it up. Look up fashionista with the A. Or Ice could do it in the urban. No, no. I want him to read from whatever dictionary he prefers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I'm just yeah. going to Google. Before you negate. Oh, and they went right to dictionary.com. Uh, us in the academic world like the Oxford, but we'll stay. <laughs> in the academic world. From the guy that's been slandering colleges. No, for listen. Not just that. What, 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 if you go to the Oxford, would it say some shit that say he like Merriam Webster? That construct. <laughs> you know, who wrote that though? Yeah. Who, who's I mean, Oxford? Us in the academic world <laughs> normally refer to the Oxford. This is more, but we'll Oxford. stay here. Pedestrian. I'm going, I'm going Oxford. <laughs> uh, fashionista. I don't even know what this word is. A designer of hot, hot couture. Hot. Hot. H a u t e. Hot. H -A -U -T -E. Yeah. Well, I don't know what that means. A devoted uh, hey, number two. Look, a devoted follower of fashion. There you go. I double down in. I am not a fashionista. That's not true, Joe. You know all the brands you wear. You know every brand. Look, I'll be like, yo, what's? Oh, no, and no, you no. have favorite brands. Yo, that was Rick. He don't even tell me. Yo, that was Rick. Yeah, it's Rick. This yo, that's Rick. such and such. You, you definitely. Stop. You call a lot of your brands by the first name. Stop, yo. Like I'm broke. I don't know what Rick. Who's Rick? Oh, it's... I know. Okay, well, I'm sorry. Of course, I know, yo. And that's my argument. So, so which side of defense are you on? Because I don't know no brand that you don't know. That's true. I'm not, I'm standing. You maybe in it. are not identifying you know the 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 pieces as such and such and such and such. But you know all these niggas. I, I feel you like you know all these niggas. I right, so feel let me like, read. but let I, me feel, read I feel their argument is I feel like you can look at something and and differentiate between between Balenciaga and Rick Owens. Me too. Oh, well, shit. Hold you're you're fucking it up, bitch. No, I'm no, trying to. No, no, he's just a fashionista, too. No, no, oh, you're no, a fashionista, no, no. too? Okay, all not. right, so yeah. Wait, wait, I just got the definition. Is your fashionista, too? No, I'm not. <laughs> I just got the definition. Let Ice read the Fashionista, which means a person who produces and or promotes high fashion, someone who dresses after current trends, people that all have millions of followers, dresses in new designer wear constantly and never wears an outfit twice, at least not publicly. That's, that's not me at all. That's the dumbass definition. A lot and of that's yeah, you. That's some, some stupid a lot of that's you. I don't think that at all. A lot of that's all. you. I mean, you fit about 80% of it. <laughs> a lot of it's you. Read them again. <laughs> Patronis, I promise y'all I'm getting to some compelling yeah, shit in a minute, but yeah. these niggas is trying to piss 43-year-old mouth off. Uh, we're not. So, I'm on your no, side. No, but read me the list. Read me the list again. Okay. I'm down to argue with y'all. Y'all think lowly of me. Come on. Nah, this is a compliment, bro. No, it really you. is. Yeah. Come on, give it to me. All right. Uh, a person who produces and or promotes high fashion, someone who dresses after current trends. Uh, no, 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 stop. Okay. One has to go there because you wear the shit that's promoting. Promotion? 
I don't follow no current trend. That's in not true. fashion. That's not true. What current trend? What current trends have I followed in fashion? You stop question. You stop oh, wearing oh, jeans. Oh, oh. When was that a trend? Hold in on, fashion? hold on, hold on. Can I ask you a question? That's not a trend in you, fashion. That's unique to me. When you go shop in Birdoff, they got the current shit, right? All current shit. Y- y- yes Technically, no. stop. Yes. No. Yeah. They be a no bu- is the answer, and that's why well, you're fashion. Act- actually, actually, <laughs> let me explain He's to you lying. what I mean. By well, this is actually, actually the last year's that's, model. That's not true. I'm not lying. You crack on me with for wearing last season shit. What I'm saying is, <laughs> and, what I'm saying I couldn't is, afford twenty. You are Joe Rivers, bro. <laughs> I'm just giving you're you Joe, Joe, Joe Rivers. Let him get his <laughs> shit on. He <laughs> gonna get that. On the bro. river. I'm listening. Joe to Rivers on the river. I mean, Joe, I got. I'm listening. Let me hear. Joe River Road. <laughs> y'all, ain't me, y'all ain't gonna get me off my dean. Go off my dean. <laughs> y'all ain't gonna get me off my dean. What I'm saying is, the pieces in Bergdorf, if they don't sell, are gonna stay there. One, two. Normally, the pieces in Bergdorf, they're shipping to Bergdorf as Bergdorf, and that's not their current shit, which they hold for the store, right? So if I go to Bergdorf and I go to Balenciaga. They're going to have a bunch of Balenciaga shit in there. But if I walk right around the corner of Balenciaga, none of that shit over there is going to be in there. So that's what I'm saying. It's not. That's what makes you a fashionista. That's not true. I mean, it's halfway true what he's saying. What's going to happen, though, is when that shit don't sell. <laughs> look, when you that, know the spot. Now, listen. <laughs> when that shit don't sell in Bergdorf, guess what Ish buys it at? Neiman Marcus and Shore Hills Mall because they sit it right there. Well, and no, I buy it no. with the Bergdorf tag on it. Let me get that. No, you just <laughs> named two spots that also get that Bergdorf shit. True, but now what he's saying with regards to Which the Balenciaga. Which maybe you are a fashionista like me, actually, now that I think about the it. The Balenciaga so, shit he's so saying. So you're admitting you're a fashionista. No. I said, it's just different buyers. So the buyer at Neiman Marcus might not order these items that are available, and the buyer over here might order these items. So the, the buyers just might order yeah, it's shit. Cur- it's, it's, it's current versus exclusivity. Basically. Like, look, not this is. But cheap. I'm arguing. I'm arguing number two. I'm arguing that knowing that makes you a fashionista. <laughs> I disagree with that. Joe, the average man don't know that. They just go to the store and find some shit they like and put it on. Yeah, they don't know about the buyers and the exclusive. If you shop at these stores and you do know that, don't do that. No, that means y'all paying me. That, bad, that, that means you went. That means, a, I see. I see. That why means you went. No, that means you went to Bergdorf and then you went to Balenciaga a couple of times. Listen to what y'all. What's your shopper? And then you went back. What's your shopper name in Bergdorf? My shopper name in Bergdorf. No, your shopper. You have a person at Bergdorf. Yeah, who's your personal shopper uh, in Bergdorf? Kareem. Shopper Kareem. fashionista. <laughs> I don't see how that proves your point. Most people don't have. Most a people don't shopper. have that. shopper. Anthony's my guy in Neiman Marcus. The people. Most people don't have that. Stop, because I know. Hey. <laughs> that ain't got nothing to do with fashion these stores. That part. <laughs> <laughs> that part. Y'all, I know it was coming. I knew 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 it. Celebrate. No. No. Celebrate. No, the people, most of the people that shop at Bergdorf do have that. True. Most people don't shop, shop at Bergdorf. They're going out of business. Well, who knows? They're going Berg- out of business. Bergdorf is going out of business? Bergdorf and Neiman Marcus are. I think they're the same parent company. Saks is in the process of buying Neiman Marcus. Well, I knew that. I didn't know that. I didn't know if Bergdorf. Neiman was... Marcus just last year said they mm-hmm. don't want them broke niggas. Look at you now. And, now and the broke niggas ain't coming. Look, 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 look at you now. You can't say that about the broke niggas if you're not sure. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. True. Like if you might need them later, True. then just chill out. I'm, I'm sure Chris Dow took a hit. They did. I'm sure they took a hit. I ain't seen a bottle in years. Even even though the whites still fuck with it and some of the wealthy still fuck with it, but I'm sure that they um they saw a dip in their sales. I never liked it. I'm about to say that Bergdorf be empty, but the mall be empty now. Mm-hmm. Like, it yeah, does. It does. It do. That's true. I I see the recession signs. Yeah, I, mm-hmm. all day. It's empty out there. It's empty. No bullshit. It is. It's, it's I argue number two. What's number three? Bullshit. So we we won for we one of two right now for me wow. for you. I'm arguing number two. Uh, people that all that. have millions of followers dress in new designer wear constantly and never wear an outfit twice. At least not publicly. He don't. He don't wear. He wears outfits twice, but the other two. That's definitely one of apply. three. That's corny. What's the next one? That's one point seven. Two, you had two of the three in that. Yeah, one. Yeah. Just, one. yeah. Majority wins. I have a million followers on one social platform. Two. Two. What's the two? Twitter and Instagram. 
I hey, don't have a million hey, followers YouTube. on Twitter. Oh, I have nine hundred and thirty thousand followers hey, on YouTube. Twitter. YouTube. YouTube. Ha. I don't have. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I don't have a YouTube page. Yo, you so oh. What's the What's the YouTube page what? that has a million subscribers? Joe Button TV. Who's Joe Button? Stop it. <laughs> Yo, you stop, stop it. it. There's that? no YouTube Joe Button page. Oh. That is a business page. It's always been a business page. And it started as Joe Button TV. It had an accompanying website, Joe Button TV. It was never just Joe Button, which is its own thing. Boy, you will f- you serious in us out. I'm That's a, number one. And you I'm wrong. One of three. I'm, <laughs> and you I'm wrong. one of three. And you know I'm going to argue like to argue too. That's our shit. I don't do that Come no on. more. One of, wait, what? I don't do that no more. He not arguing no more. I don't do that no more. Forty-seven year old ish. I don't do no, that no more. Just, oh, this is just opposite lying. It's lying. Yeah, it's just lying. Okay, for sure. I got it. I don't got argue you. no more. He just skipped the episodes. He would argue. No, I said, yo, y'all got it. I quit. I tap out. I said, you got it. Whoa. That's your new shit. Yeah, Careful with cool. the words. What's the next one? <laughs> no, that was it. That was it. Oh yeah, I'm off of that. I'm off of that. You're a fashionista. You're a fashionista. I got some. And so none of y'all will wear these. And the fact that I have these no. on makes me a fashionista. I wouldn't wear those. I wouldn't wear those. But. But having these on makes me the fashionista. Yep. No, that just t- you know, it's, it's par for the course. Par for the course for you. Fashionista. So you, yes, you got red bottle <laughs> slippers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah they don't got to up. That's hey, par for the they course. They walk to the parking lot after dinner. I don't dinner. want no sauce. Maybe not fashionista, <laughs> but clothes horse. What'd you say? Clothes horse. Clothes horse. Clothes horse. horse. What does that mean? Google. Clothes horse. Are you yes. saying point at it? You call horse. No, 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 horse. horse. Like H O R. Yes. Clothes horse. Yes. Look it up. I don't know. I never. Heard it's of a term of somebody who likes to buy a lot of clothes, and those clothes are uh, usually very the nice. The term clothes horse can be used to describe men and women who are passionate about clothing and always appear in public dressed in the latest styles. That's <laughs> not me. That's not you. Well. That's not me. You're not passionate about the clothing, but you do. That's not true. And I don't you try to dress up in the latest style. How Why excited do y'all were you? keep putting this like clowny shit on me? I'm getting mad. Yo, yeah. dog, you do do you the latest. You are wearing I the follow- latest styles. That's yes. one. Whether you They're try latest, to or not, bro. it's the What's latest. Up? It's actually, you buy shit the season before. You're rich. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> I submit to. I thing. can shift us to something um, masculine I, I, and I, um, I, make you. I receive you guys. Yeah. I forgot something in new music, and it's actually something that you and me can um, bond over. We've had arguments about your giants and my dolphins. I've gone back and forth with Ransom about his giants and my dolphins, and today, when I went to the new music, I saw a J Rock album. I said, "Oh shit, a J Rock album." Huh? It's called Crowd Control. Mm-hmm. But it's not really J Rock album. I think oh. he's on one song, okay. and the rest of it is featuring NFL players rapping. Get the Excuse fuck out of here! And we are treated to a song featuring your starting tight end and Pro Bowler Darren Waller. That's why he won. And shit my last starting year. left exactly tackle making... and Pro Bowler Teron Armstead. Oh, J Rock and Rob Forty Nine. Yeah. Was <laughs> yeah. that terrible? It wasn't terrible. I was nah, gonna no. say it doesn't sound terrible. Look at you still trying to get in. That's all you hear in your head, don't you? Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here, man. That's all you hear, that stupid ass theme song. It was terrible. I mean, I don't think it was terrible either, by the way. Okay, I don't think it was terrible, but it's just not nice. I think that nigga said cowboy hater in it. No, he did. No, I don't think it's anything I'll listen to uh, again. Ever. Mm. Darren Waller well, we better produce. <laughs> <laughs> he just did. Who? It's a good one. Darren yeah. Waller. He's a starting tight end. He's a rock Waller. That's a thing in Queens somewhere. Mm. Oh, oh, man. It's that nigga. He's that. He's him. He is. He is. My man. Yeah. Mel. Mm. This is the sweep. We were. Uh, Cowboy hater. We were outside mm-hmm. talking. And I said that I feel like DJ Clue should be a bigger part of some of this hip hop 50 stuff that's going on. I even was about to come in here and call him, but Clue be getting funky sometimes. I mean, let him rock. Mm. <laughs> um, and then you raised what I thought was like a really, really valid point. Mm-hmm. So please. Well, I missed the, the docket. Uh, yeah, I missed the opportunity the to docket. say it during the docket. Um, but. During the course of this entire year, celebrating 50 years of hip hop, nowhere in the celebration, nowhere in it has been any mention, any acknowledgement of video models. 
Mm. I mean, it's, it is mind blowing how intentional it seems to leave us out. You know, and I, I speak for all of us because, you know, it's a huge platform and I know a lot of them feel this way um, that we have been, you know, left out of, of any acknowledgement other than that um, event that I went to that was put on by a young woman. <laughs> what are you doing? Flip is losing his shit over there. <laughs> you, you good? I'm he almost fell you. off the chair a minute ago. <laughs> Tweet that. What? What? Please tell me why that's funny. Oh, shit. What? <laughs> that wasn't enough that that girl put that shit together? Come on, man. Stop, man. Video models. Come on, man. Stop. Please. Wow. Man, I, stop. I, that, stop. Case, yeah, stop. Case, case in point as to why they were... I love you, but were, come on. No, case you in point. You Melissa J. Ford. Nigga, you popping. Video case, models. Case, now, case. hey, we're going to acknowledge Buffy and Melissa Ford, and they get an award for looking good in the video. No. Nigga, that don't contribute. What does that contribute? What the fuck? It helped John, too. I, I, I Slow the fuck I could down. Not disagree with Slow you. down. I, I couldn't disagree with you. Slow down. Man, I will ball with y'all niggas, man. Slow down. What? Calm down and slow. Down. Don't take up for them, bitches. Down. No. Don't take up for them. Because you're not cool with half of them. Don't take up for them. I only fuck with you. First of all, 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 calm the fuck down. No. Why are you, why are you stepping stop on Stop calling them. Stop calling them. Number one. Today. Stop calling them. That's number one. Right. Number two, yeah, I, I do not, it, I don't have to like somebody <laughs> for me to acknowledge what their contribution is. That's number fucking two. Number fucking three, oh. we didn't, weren't just in, um, in music videos. We sold millions of fucking magazines. We kept motherfuckers' hopes up um, in fucking jails across the fucking country, kept across oceans, fact. fucking fighting wars. You need to slow your fucking roll and pay us some fucking respect. Uh, no. This industry has not paid us any respect, not from day fucking one. They've used. Abuses. How about I pay you respect because you're an intelligent woman that I, I that I get along and I, with? And listen. Oh, so I, you want me to identify I you as a video model? I appreciate that. W it's a part would of. Would you my, like me to identify you? It is a part. You? This is yes listen, or no. This is not black and white. Would you like this me to? This is not identify, black and white. Would you like me to it identify part, you as a video you model? Can, yes or no? Because okay. it's a part of so my career. So please don't ever complain about anybody identifying you as a video model not acknowledging you how smart you are. What does that have to do with the, the fucking rice, price of rice in China? I look at you as a smart woman. Stop salute. yelling. Salute. No, you yelling. You're yelling. I'm yelling and over you. And I'm going to yell you. back. I'm yelling over You're you. You're yelling and I'm going to yell back. Camera on me. Oh Anybody gets yelled at when they yell at me. On me. What did you have to do? Him. Let him do it by himself. And then make. I couldn't, Call me. I, I couldn't agree more with what Melissa said. Oh, yell at me, I man. I agree with Melissa on this one, too. Yeah. Shout out to the video vixens. Is that uh, an inappropriate term to say? You can say video vixen. You can say video model. It's up to the individual how she responds. But the fact of the matter is, is that I carry no shame. Of, I carry immense pride as to the, the torch that I hold. The part of my career. It started my career. Mm -hmm. I did an honest day's work for an honest day's pay. Like the majority of video models did. Mm -hmm. So the fact that we are regularly disparaged or are not acknowledged is shameful. So that's basically, that was my, my docket entry. I'm not sure that engineers have been properly. Uh, I agree with that's, that too. That, that's my only thing with that. I don't, it's, it's not, you said it feels like. Uh, intentional. In, intentional. Like they have left a lot of people out. That's true. Like a lot, men, they've left a lot of just important people out of give me an example of who you feel like they've left out engineers graffiti artists break dancers all and, of that, I, and I all agree of that is hip hop and I and I and I and I and I 1000 percent agree with you I went all hip -hop. on all of it there's, on all of there, it there's been no representation of Atlanta's lineage in hip hop agreed in any of this mm -hmm. agreed there's been barely any rec uh, recognition from the West Coast and their contributions mm -hmm. outside of E40 and Too Short and Cube at, mm -hmm. uh, and Cube at that was pretty much a West Side it. Connection here and there yeah, yeah, but yeah. for the most part there's been none of that Luke the whole, monument somewhere. The whole wow, Houston Miami. Houston Memphis Miami with Uncle Luke, mm -hmm. what he said, like all of that has been skipped. There's, there's a lot that they have missed. I, and, I, and I completely agree with all of that. The fact though that is that video models were so forward facing. We were so, res we're responsible for 
a lot of the conceptualization of how artists are perceived. You know what I mean? Masculinity, virility, having a bunch of women in your videos, the cars, the money, the women. You cannot, you know, kind of reinforce an image of masculine, hyper masculinity and virility without the having women. the women around you. You cannot. And from coast to coast, they pulled women out of other countries and stuff. So even though region, they have ignored regions, we were everywhere. King Magazine was launched and they, their intention was always to um, feature celebrity women on the cover. You wanna know what was requested by and large? Video models. We changed the game. I was just in an article for The Cut Magazine, which is a huge magazine, and I discussed the fact that video models changed the beauty industry, the standard of beauty, going from Eurocentric, true. you know, body that's types. True. That's true, that's true. I'm You're sorry, right. there's no right. Kim K and really even J-Lo without us. And people can argue with me all day and I don't give a shit. This I'll is my stance, that. this is the hill I die on. I'm with you, I agree with and that. And so, I think that there, by and large, there has been a lot of people who have been ignored, you know, and you're absolutely right. But with video models, we were such an integral part of, of artists' success. And we, no acknowledgement, even from the artists themselves. No, the producers haven't been acknowledged. No, yeah. this you is, guys but, but here's the thing. It's not, guys? but here's the thing. It's, I'm not talking about what about ism. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to acknowledge that one group has been ignored and or then another, not yeah. saying that any other group is ignored. I'm standing up for the group that I represent. Oh, no, that, I, that's no, just we, it. We were talking with you. Oh, no, yes. Yes. When you said, when you said it's intentional, intentional. Yes. I, I don't necessarily know. It's so many know people that like were those. ignored that I don't know if yeah, it was necessarily exactly. intentional. The reason why I say intentionally is because I have watched the landscape change from when we were placed on pedestals and held in the highest regard to when that pedestal was kicked out from under us and we became the scapegoats for everything that was wrong with urban music. There was a phase in time in which video models were regarded as like lower than prostitutes. You know what I'm saying? I, I ended up on a bunch of panels having to defend you know, being a video model because, you know, it was like hem feminism and hip hop and are we responsible for the degradation of yes, moral yeah. fabric yes. and that sort of thing. And you know, the shit was wild and I, it went on for fucking years. Like, they were saying a video model played a lot in the misogyny and all of that. And yeah. yeah. And and like, you know, right. the, 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 you're responsible for like basically racial fucking genocide. Like I'm responsible for like, you know, why young girls go wayward and that sort of thing. I'm like, all I did was walk up to a fucking car like Jesus Christ so that's the only reason why I talk about it is because and and stand so firmly in this is because I know the role that we've played we've played and how um people have tried to undermine it for t over 20 years you know so that's I respect it. that's just no we that was my docket entry we on your side yeah Thank how do you. you think how do you think y'all could be celebrated Um, <laughs> Flip is due. Y'all just had the show. <laughs> you fucking I mean, it. that young woman, she took it on, you know, took it of her own volition to create an exhibit, you know, basically paying homage to us. I thought that was really I that incredible. Was amazing. That was, I thought that, that was I, and I thought that was amazing, but that was done privately. No one told her to do that. It wasn't sanctioned by anything, by anybody. That was her and her own hard work and her own acknowledgement that you guys do not get the flowers that you so, deserve. So who would you have? I was about to celebrate y'all. Like, the, the the print magazines are dead for the most part, so it's not even like they're around. And Instagram, I mean, yeah. but everything's what digital. Company? But there's some layups like Playboy, and not to demean the the, the role, but no. that would be they're not pornography anymore, they ain't and they still with. exist. Yeah, but they're not. But there's not. I know, but there's every other non hip hop brand is leeching into the fifty years of hip hop in some way, shape, or form. So yeah, why couldn't Maxim? I don't know which I would, magazine I, still exists. I could, but. I, but I could definitely say that um, video models and photographers, we really have like a synergistic kind of relationship with one another. Especially because once doing once you did music music videos, you were a principal or a lead girl, and you know the public fell in love with you. That's when all the magazines came calling, and the photographers wanted to shoot you and stuff like that. There should have been 
way more exhibits, way more photographic exhibits at fancy art galleries and studios because this is art. Graffiti artistry could have been sell featured it. during that time. I, it was all very performative, I don't just know in if you terms of like, it. huh? You get what I'm saying? I don't know if they could sell it. You know, it's no, hot women. Here's the thing. Is, How about this? It's, oh, right, right, it's now, it's, it, right now, it's New York Fashion Week. Mm -hmm. This would have been the perfect time to have art exhibits combining fashion Fashion over the course of the uh, ha fashion and hip hop over the course of the last fifty years, How hip -hop inc and incorporating in graffiti artistry, by photography, who? and the video and the video models. So now you would have by, to have all who? of the European. Well, I mean, Italian we were just talking about how the music labels have been silent, have you, do, have really not participated in any way, shape, or form. They, I agree with that. You're they, talking they about could the have fashion, fashion houses week. and fashion week. Well, yeah. or, or, even, or, even the, or even the fashion houses. I could definitely see mm -hmm. some of these fashion, Kith, for example, or um, Mike Amiri or someone like that doing a, a, a at least a segment a of a show with no, Melissa Ford and of, whoever no, else Some walking. of the hip-hop brands could have done it, but yeah. outside of that, these high-end Italian brands aren't going to... Um, but I'm, no, I'm not even talking about the high end uh, high end brands. I'm talking about the fact that at what you know there was Sean John, there was Rockefeller. This is a part of the history. Mm -hmm. well, you could have had like June Ambrose, you know, who is you know June Ambrose. It's like Everybody she is like June you know Ambrose. she is recognized as like she's our our our, our Patricia Fields. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And so. I'm seeing like a, an art gallery, you know, fashion kind of collaboration with her as the curator slash MC or whatever the case is. And then you have like some, you know. Um, this is where you're about to get tricky. Right mm -hmm. here. Yep. Keep well, on. Then you, you, I mean, you have performances and whatever the case is, but then, but the, the artistry or like the artifacts, you know over the course of images that you've seen, like in music videos and, and um, you know, pictorially, editorials and that sort of thing. Like, this would have been the perfect time to do it. I think, I think theoretically... Michelle, would you do, uh, Michelle, who the fuck is Michelle? I think theoretically what you're saying mm -hmm. is dope. Mm -hmm. I think, though, the, the monetary piece, now you got to sell it, right? Yeah, Shane and, gave us the part and to then sell selling it. it. And then selling it, now we have to have... Um, enough people that are going to pay a ticket price to get in and see it to, to justify the cost to put it together. And, and the organization, the cost of the organization. Yeah, organization. that's what I'm saying, the cost to put it together, period. Outside so you're saying, y'all fly a museum, now we got to rent the museum, we got to do this, we got to get No, I'm not saying, I'm, I'm not saying a museum, I'm saying... You said it, a museum before. No, I'm, no, I'm saying like, no, I'm saying like, um, like an art like gallery hybrid, or that sort of thing, like, like hybrid. hybrid. You can rent, art. you could rent like a huge, massive studio and then kind of put it all in there. Like Milk Studios does this kind of thing like all even, the time. And, and the thing I think, to with with because I'm agreeing with you. I'm mm -hmm. not disputing. I'm not disputing. B E T. Yeah. 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 They also B -E -T. they also she, dropped they the ball like yeah. not, not for nothing. Melissa Ford, you're Melissa Ford. Mm -hmm. Do it. Let's, Why let's you do it? I don't think it's enough of y'all that are recognizable today. No, no disrespect to anybody. I know you. I know Vita. I know Glow. I know um, Mia. Rest in peace. Uh, like I, I, off the top of my head, and, and I think rest in peace, Mercedes. Just because we're here, I miss you. Yeah, like I, I think that um, enough of y'all aren't necessarily recognizable to even put that together. Yeah, but if they not the, I'm not saying not the focal point, but like she said, do it fashion, and then that be a part of it. But they would have the. But I'm all, and, uh, but also doing the combination of including the photographers who have yeah, shot us yeah, over the course, and so yeah. like it's basically an open invitation to not just invite the girls, but to you know, uh, to promote the photography of the photographs that have shot us over the course of years. Like, you know, I mean, I've I've shot with so many freaking incredible photographers, like uh, Jonathan Mannion, a Antoine Vergla. Like, I've shot with the, uh, like so Can many. Google Antoine Vergla. Well, okay. Know, okay. okay. Yes, I have. Okay. Yes, I have. Um, like <laughs> I've shot, <laughs> but I mean, like that would be a perfect opportunity to go down memory lane for you to remember who Dope. these girls were, and she's at the exhibit, and well, there she is, and it's just like the connective tissue would happen. exist so that way. Dope. You Even, know what I'm saying? Y'all could have had a. Set. I went to the hip hop joint. I came in and talked about when I went to the the hip hop. Um, they had a hip hop museum thing. I think it was on like Fifth Avenue somewhere. Mm -hmm. And it was four floors. Mm -hmm. And it was just all hip hop memorabilia. It was like cassette tapes that mm -hmm. Jokers mm -hmm. had written on. They had <clears throat> niggas notebooks where they was writing their rhymes and mm -hmm. it was scratched out. All of that shit. Um, Y'all could have had a, a real segment there. Wait, you saw some of the notebooks? 
Yeah, they had niggas notebooks, for real notebooks, literally, with their lyrics in it, scratched out, shit like that. Um, real pictures. Remember back in the day, the Polaroids? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They had all of that, niggas with triple fat gooses, break dance and shit. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> Museums and shit is really just shit, and I'm really so ignorant. I don't give a fuck about the books. <laughs> See? The books be fly. I went to, I, I got okay. dragged. Well, I ain't gonna say drag. I'm in the museum. I told you I went to. You said you'll check it out. So That's you haven't gone to Brooklyn it. Museum to see the Hove exhibit? No, I have not. No. Mm-hmm. They got a Harry Potter museum. Oh shit! But what's there? Lit. Huh? What's at the exhibit? Um, it's everything. No books. Well, no, it's it's know, a bunch of stuff. Shit. But they also recreated the studio. Yeah, um, baseline. 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 Oh, there we go. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 kind of stunning. Imagine be, really seeing baseline. <laughs> I know, but a lot of people wouldn't get that opportunity it? to do so. And I think that that's also the you thing is like with what? an exhibit, with an exhibit of what I'm talking about, the viewing public would ha- like just the average person would like to see something like that. They'd like to go down memory lane. You're, I'm thinking about people in our age demographic that this is like. This is their nostalgia. And you know, this is them, the, yo. Some of the. And I'm just, the, the I'm, just right I'm just giving an example. I'm just giving an example. all this shit, and I still ain't heard how to sell this shit. But what's to sell? Hey, yo, listen. Hot, hot, hot women in minimal. Hold clothing on, let me say this. Well, so, listen, listen. Photographs, even if they're old pictures, it's still people will come. Let me say this real quick. Listening, double entendre. Respectively, we're talking about. Hold on. Who are the video vixens today? That's a better question. Um, I'm not really sure. Honestly, honestly, I think to me. I think, by and large, female artists are their own vi- video vixens mm-hmm. at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's it. Mm-hmm. Like, I just was mm-hmm. watching SZA videos, like, while I was getting my hair done. And I was just, like, captivated looking at the TV. But that's basically uh, what's... Y'all let the fat Lizzo dancers take y'all spot. <laughs> oh, shit. Got your little <laughs> you hot hussies out there. Hey, yo, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> hey, yo, I got to say this real quick. I, oh, ca- camera. Help me. <laughs> while he do that little laugh and stuff, listen... <laughs> I see how passionate Melissa Ford is about this. Nah, mm-hmm. Too late. You should have so, no, 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 cursed no, 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 her out. No, 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 you could have said, why the fuck we celebrating that shit? No, I didn't curse her out. screamed I, over, no. yelled. I did yell. You want me to look down on you and call you that? I think you swore you wild out no, a little bit. You I, did I wild out. Your apology. Uh, that dead ass. Uh, well, go ahead. Get I don't need you to do that, nigga. You're such a panderer. <laughs> I see how... Yo, I know that they say anytime Yo, let me I'm finish, nigga. in support of women. Stop. Put the headphones on so you can hear me talk. my past. I hate that they say Fuck, nigga. Oh, let me hear you. Come Damn. On, let me hear you. Yo, listen. I see how passionate it was. And obviously, when you're in the oh. midst of trolling, I can't just cut the trolling off. I can't. Oh. It's like Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, oh now you're oh. paying. No, no, no. Oh. I, while I, while, while oh. I, while I, st- no, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I don't need you niggas can't gas me, nigga. You niggas are scared to stand on the hill. I stand on, nigga. You niggas can't stand, and you scared, and you edit that shit out. But I don't. What, what, yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> nigga. Exactly, nigga. I thought I'm scared to stand on the hill. Nah, nah, edit that shit out. No, but, stand on the hill. But, 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 nah, because <laughs> last time you had to edit out what happened. I'm on some you bullshit with that nigga. You wild out. And it's almost. It's almost but, <laughs> what I want to say to Melissa Ford, no, because how passionate she was, I have to apologize to her for yelling and doing the theatrics because it wasn't the right moment. That's big of you. I say what I say, playing around, she knows, mm-hmm. but I see how passionate she is and her eyes start to, ah, right, hold on now, let me yeah. let me slow down. When her eyes start yeah. to get a little watery here at the, at the bottom, let me slow down because now she's very passionate. It's not just a subject that she wants me to play around with. It's something that means something to her. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. the reason why I say that because a lot of people, when they talk about Melissa Ford and they try to insult her, they equate that of her being a video vixen and stuff like that. And I don't mm. like that. So, like, I was just coming from a, a cake perspective. Mm. I don't really want to get into details. I, I think we all know what I'm talking about. But mm. I wanted just to, to, to acknowledge that she's more than that. You know what I'm saying? Melissa Ford is, is, is one of them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, I, and that's my sister, and I love that's her. So, fact. That's to fact. all the women out there, I do respect. I jerked off to a lot of you. Oh, shit. Okay, I did. <laughs> So salute. Thank you. Past tense. <laughs> Thank you. Past tense. Huh? Yeah. Hey. Nah, that was that was big of you Thank to get you. that done. But still, that was crazy how you didn't read the room in the moment, and that was crazy. I, I didn't read the room. Oh, what about what I said over there? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, wait, what he saw me? This nigga's crazy. <laughs> yo, yeah. What he said? He said, yo, shit, he said. You said, you said, he said I, I he said, looked yo, at me and said, he said, he, you gonna miss me. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey. Mm. He said, you'll kill me on Patreon, but yeah, I guess it surprised you, you left gonna, a gift. You gonna miss me, boy. Mm. Only me? Why you say that to anybody? 
Well, you, uh, let's see. <laughs> it gets tricky. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good reverse. It gets tricky. No, I can't reverse. I can't reverse. No. Uh, all right, Mel went off. You, this yeah, you, 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 feeling? You, you all right? You good, you all right, big dog? Yeah, those yeah. were good times, man. They really were. Which one, the, the men jerking off to y'all or? Well, you know, yeah. I didn't really get to see that in person, but hey, whatever, <laughs> you know, whatever floats your boat. Uh, no, they were just, they were really good times. Like, you know, they just were. The experience, like being there. I mean, listen, like Big Pimpin', just everything you think it was, it was 20 times better. That's fine. It just, that that was a career high. That's where he going to be was, at, nigga. He's going to be in February, Trinidad. Y'all little exchange just reminded me of something I wanted to come teach Mel before we continue in the pardon for the fourth quarter. Oh, go ahead. All right. Just repeat after me. I'm nervous. No, no, no need to be. Okay, okay. I think this will take us right where we need to be if you just repeat after me. You ready? Mm-hmm. Ayo, hey, my G, I'm not going to hold you. Ayo, hey, my G, I'm not going to hold you. <laughs> oh, you know what? My G might be funny. Ayo, hey, my nigga, I ain't going to hold you. Ayo, my nigga, I'm not gonna hold you. Something funnier, or something else. Suck my dick. I knew that's what he was. <laughs> oh, I swear to God, I said he gonna tell suck, us my suck my dick. Suck my dick. That one sentence, if you incorporate that into your with a little your bit of, bag, you know, with a you like, know what's so when funny? he get to doing all of that, even when I get to wilding, when anybody get to wilding, all you got, yo, my nigga, I ain't gonna hold you. Suck my dick. <laughs> that's it. It will be so helpful. What anybody gonna say? Okay. <laughs> I got what, you. what are you gonna say? I'm gonna you He'd have been him. right in the middle of his troll. Hey, your, hey, your dog. Dead ass. Because <laughs> she'd be too nice. It's true. Like when I watch the game take back, it'd be like, oh, she's so nice and like Canadian and sweet and warm hearted. She need one evil line to just, even if you don't mean it, but you gotta be able to just, you know, you gotta shoot the jumper just to let them know you'll shoot it. It's like one of those. You're right. You're right. I'm gonna put that throw, in my arsenal. Yeah, throw a Frank yes. at, at, throw at us. <laughs> Bro, we're frank. We're us. That's the book. I'll oh, put that in the arsenal. I like that one. Oh, yeah, no. man. It flips to shake that was, his head. That was, New York an, you. that was a good answer you had with that. I think everyone is their own vixen now. You killed that one. That was fire. <laughs> that one she smoked. That, that's that, what made me apologize. I thought we had her. No. Since it is the best video vixen currently. That's, that's mean, a good answer. I mean, wow. Yeah. Maybe the vixens fell off. No, I think that. I think that the. I think that the. Yeah, the music industry. It just everything changed about it. You know, that was kind of. That was the golden era. How many videos Bernice was in? Would you consider her a video vixen? Uh, I wouldn't. How many was she in? She was in Pop Champagne. She's done something. Yeah, she does something. She's done enough to be considered a video vixen, but I don't know her that way. Got it. It's just videos lost their um. Funding. Cash. There you go. No, vi videos used to be it. Like, people used to couldn't wait for a video to come out. They sold it with the single. I that still shit. love videos, but... Where are yeah. the videos being played YouTube. at now? YouTube. YouTube. And that's what that's that's yeah. kind of what it is. It was like, the, there was a golden era, yeah. and and it's over. So it's like, be when it. you think about video vix, current video vixens... Then y'all start charging so much that... New chicks yeah. getting No, off, it wasn't that we were charging. No, it wasn't that we were charging so much. It was Napster. It was like the. It was the the. It was piracy. It was like the music industry lost control of its product, and so video budgets went from six hundred thousand to sixty thousand. No, what I was saying was um, they they couldn't so we they couldn't, couldn't book y'all no more. At the 60. Right, they could not for the whole budget. Right here, do it for the the whole budget being You want five? Grand, you want five grand? I got a bad chick over here. I do it for five hundred dollars. I got a bad chick over here to do it for three fifty. Got a bad and chick over here to do it for the look. Yeah, take it for the notoriety. So it it stopped that. Mail mailbag was was big at one point. Yes, right? it was. Yes, yeah. it was huge. Yes, so and they when they were like, we can get one Melissa Ford or we can get fifty girls for that price. We're gonna get we're gonna get the fifty girls. The girls taking it for the short. Yo, one of it's our, the same thing with the one, one of our people's mm -hmm. um, friend of the show. They started doing that shit for a couple hundred dollars. They hated the girls' guts. So, there you go. She's she just as thick. She's just as cute. Maybe not, but we're going to make you. So, you come over here. Yeah. 500. No, no, notoriety, but yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was taking the exit no, ramp anyways. Real, you, know, you, made, you made me feel bad. Damn, man. No, my, when video budget started de- to decrease, I had already t- started taking the exit ramp and I was on to television hosting. Talk about it. See, there you that's go. Smart. That's Here we go. Celebrating you. <laughs> See, you yeah. playing around. Well, you I know mean, Family Feud to do it. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, the whole thing was, the whole idea was to use it as a stepping stone. And I, that's true. I had the audacity to do that. And you stepped. I stepped. Word. Stepped away and stepped off. Yeah. Y'all got it. Y'all got Mel it. Mel left, Vita left. She got out of there early. Uh, Gone. Trying early. to think of what my last video was. Pinky think, stop. You know what I mean? I think it was a Will Smith Pinky. video. <laughs> Pinky. <guy. laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Pinky ain't yeah. did no video. Yo, I used she did to be videos, at Jersey like, Girls every, every yeah, Sunday be, when Pinky was hosting. BT and cut my speed. I was in Jersey Girls every day. Well, yeah, <laughs> but still, you happened to be there when she was hosting too. It wasn't my so speed. My pinky did her Sunday. That was not <laughs> my yeah, speed. Pinky hosted a bunch of times. She a was, bunch, a was, bunch of times. She was hey, missed BT and, 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 and the hefty. She hosted the hefty. Yeah, she too. hosted a whole bunch of shows. And, 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 and the half, the post the hefty. Hefty. Afterwards, she hosted the hefty afterwards. She had a lot of energy. The morning. That ain't all. She had a lot of. What happened? What? You missed BT and cut. Yeah, I love Duncut. I think even that should be celebrated. That's a a big part of it. She was lit. Wait, mm. hey, who is that's yeah. my song. Coming to that's my song. It was a bunch of them. Uh, classic Wax videos. a million, Wax a million. No panties on the <laughs> dance floor. Who your panties on? <laughs> I ain't got no what panties the, on that thing. Hey. Smell like floor. What that thing smell what that like? Thing smell like. <laughs> See, that's what I. That's what. He, that's how Y'all I know people wasn't really the there. Songs? What? 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 Was I, I waited up for these songs. <laughs> yeah. What? I waited up for these records. Facts. Dog. See, that's how I know certain people wasn't really there for uncut because they always just say tip drill and pee popping, and it's like, bro, nah, that bro. wasn't uncut. Bad shit. That was ah yeah. Those tip tip drill was late. They was about to cut uncut off <laughs> by the time tip drill got here. Y'all wasn't there for <laughs> what that tip, thing smell like. Tip drill kept that shit on for a little bit. What that thing smell like? Yeah, nigga. And the video, as soon as it start, good ice. My man standing outside the club, <laughs> and he won't let you in uh-huh. until, until you let him know that, that thing. You gotta, you gotta run your <gasps> finger past his nose to get in the club. Oh, that was a video. Yeah, bro, uncut was crazy. What you know about BT Uncut Mel? I knew about it. I just didn't watch it. The original video of uh, Still Tipping. What did that look like? Well, Slim Thug was getting head the whole verse. The edited version, the camera's up a little higher. You just see here. GameCube, Nintendo, 5% 10, so you can't see up in my window. <laughs> the fuck? Nigga, Boo Blaze in a barbershop getting the head, getting, man, I remember all them uncut shit. Yeah, I, I remember them shit too. Yeah, uncut was a time. And you're getting a wreck right now. Now you're like, why? Yeah. Two the things. One, no, but two, whoa. why would you be? That nigga <laughs> sitting there something's off drifting too. off like, oh, man. <laughs> Yeah. No wonder you don't wear the lace shorts. Yeah, so give him a pillow. <laughs> Something is wrong. Hey, with you. fuck. Something is really you awful. Get, you it. Uh, get him a pillow. Oh, man. Fuck, you can't say that to your friends. <laughs> Look at Icy Hot. <laughs> Icy Hot. <laughs> Icy get out over there. <laughs> Put a nigga icy hot. Stop. That's funny. That's my man. That's funny. I'm here all week. Yeah, y'all good. That's funny. Uh, yeah, y'all want to talk about uh, 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 Spice versus Eric Amina? Eric Amina? I don't know much about it, but put me on. I'm, I'm interested. Eric Amina called Spice a monkey. She was a video vixen. That was a good segue. Was she, she though? Was. She was. She was. Hell That's yeah. hate. No, I just no, no. I just know her more as a <laughs> as a reality not. show star. She was the next Melissa Ford. I did as not know that. I did not know that. She was in Bow Wow. Well, shit. Bow wow shit. Well, well, do your history. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do your yeah. Google. Yeah. Go yeah. watch some Bow Wow videos. Look, shit. Watch some oh, other videos, right. girl. Extend, Got it. Extend the hands. Watch some other videos. Hey, stop watching just your videos. Extend the hands. Watch some with the other. You want the video chicks like. You know, all she celebrated. Wanted, are you going to have yeah. a museum? Which, she's, not, she's, she's not going to recognize me. Wait, wait, wait. Who, you, hi, wait, who are you? What did you win? Uh, that oh, wasn't, that no, wasn't that, like that, me. That's move, corner. Move, we, we <laughs> call. <laughs> <laughs> what what video did you say you were in? Oh, that budget was small. Weak ass bitch. Oh, you want to move. That game you wasn't one of us. No, no. Oh, hey, such and such. You've aged horribly. I'm killing you still. Move, bitch. That would be the that would be the Caddy Awards. Damn, you got big. Let's go the Caddy Awards. Would she classify herself as a video vixen? I don't think so. I've never heard her refer to herself as that. I think that that's the thing. But it's a part of her 
Her I know, but I've, ne- it I've was never. A stepping stone. I've never heard her refer to herself she as no, that. <laughs> she no, she I, no other people's stepping stone. I'm totally not at all. I'm just saying that <laughs> she. I've never. You know what? I'm not fucking with you guys. Suck my dick. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, shit. Uh, See how easy that rolled off the tongue? Yeah, well right. Nah, it was fast too. Gotcha. That was fast. Okay. Uh, Erica called Spice a monkey after Spice said it seemed like your kids don't really love you like that. Oh shit! <laughs> wow. And they had a big, big fight. I mm-hmm. should have covered this on the main part because it was important. This was a big fight for like a week. It was just mm-hmm. back and forth on social media. Is that what was happening? Well, because the episode aired, okay, and, and social media tape. responded. They were at a table with, uh, and they started, holy shit, y'all let her call her a monkey. So that was bad for two days, and then uh, VH1 put out some shit that said, "Hey, she, she is fired. Well, she, Erica Mina will not be appearing in next season, and in this, the last three episodes of this season, you'll see how." This played out, but she's done. And then Mona uh, Instagrammed and said, handled. And then VH1 and the show started getting backlash mm. because y'all shot it, y'all promoted aired it. The whole shit, yeah. yeah. Y'all yeah. promoted yes. it. So why are you firing her when... Y'all did that. When There's did two that things with that with me. One, I read that statement where they said she won't be on there no more. And I, I, I think it was worded this way for a reason. Says she won't appear on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta no more. Uh, and I'm looked at this like, oh, y'all gonna pull the yo? She moved. New, yeah, she's in Miami now. She moved. She's yeah, in Miami. I she's think that was the last season but, in Miami. I think Atlanta was is the only uh, one. Wherever the next season. Well, is. wherever. Yeah. I'm just look at certain. I, I looked at this like, I see what y'all are trying to do. It's a little little semantic game here. We're just gonna move on somewhere else. Nobody. So, so I don't think so. And two. Not, not with Mona tw- uh, uh, saying handled. Okay. Now with Mona saying handled. And this is what's happening, you guys. You guys. You got yeah, this is what's happening. This this Give my, us the tea, Joe. This is my bag. I'm a, a reality TV nista <laughs> because I'm knowledgeable. I suck my day. I hate you niggas. <laughs> this is what's happening. They're gonna Love and Hip Hop is gonna shoot it. They're gonna air it. They're gonna promote it. They don't have no problem with none and nothing that y'all do to each other on there. They are there to get it all. Mm-hmm. And most of the production films for these crews. That other crew, they taped the murder and kept it. Mm-hmm. I forgot. I reported I on that, it. Yeah. But so they're gonna air it. The public has to go crazy now. Mm-hmm. They and, like that. And the public going crazy is good for is gonna, No, is gonna get to advertisers Advertiser. if they start going crazy enough. Mm-hmm. And when the advertisers start going crazy, now they're coming back to VH1 saying fix it, mm. which is why you're fired and you will not be appearing in anything further. That's true. Mm. Not really because they thought she should be fired or it was inappropriate. Somebody, the, the backlash was strong enough to make them, somebody call mm-hmm. and say, yo, big dog. Mm-hmm. Mm. Why do you think the advertisers cared? Because the people monkey. start caring. Because what? Yeah. The, back, like, the, no, door, but, the noise gets too or, loud. Or an executive at one of the companies, any of that stuff starts to be like, no, you can't do that. You can't call somebody a monkey. But then what happens after? You can't after call a black woman a, a monkey, monkey on TV. And what happens after that is. Especially clip, if you're non black, you can't call a, a black a, woman a monkey a on TV. A clip comes out of the young lady Spice calling another um, lady on the show a giraffe or some shit. So they're like. Well, now what's going to happen? Like now, she's called. Nothing. I think. An I think well. the word monkey. Nothing. I know. I think, monkey I think the word synonymous monkey synonymous with black. It's synonymous with you it's know, a derogatory yeah. black. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. black people. Uh, yeah. No, I understand. I understand. I guess I'm just thinking about you know all the numerous corporations and companies that have like put out shit that was like super offensive to the general public. Mm-hmm. You know. And like exactly H and M and the monkey T shirt mm-hmm. and blah True. blah blah, and then the making apologies afterwards. So it's just like that's why I'm like questioning. I'm like, do corporations and advertisers really actually give a fuck? No, or they, is this just performative? They or don't no, give maybe a fuck. in they that go. demo. I don't think they give a fuck until it's, it's the bottom a, a line lot of, is a lot their bottom of line is happening. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's it. Yeah, okay. yeah. So you can put out whatever. Oh wait, they 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 they're getting loud over there. Now we got to say something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm. Yeah. Because if they really cared, because if they yeah. really cared, they'd have curved all that fuck shit. They would have caught it. Right, exactly. They wouldn't even be that they type of show. Mm-hmm. True. 
if they really gave a fuck. Yeah, or they'd have seen it and just wouldn't have aired it. They've seen that part of that episode 900 million times mm -hmm. by, by the time it's out. And that and demo, a lot of that demo is black women watching that shit. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. it's like, yo, word, that's how y'all feel. Y'all let that rock. Y'all let it stay. Cool, we not going to watch this shit no more. Well, I think they also, the reason why I said they like it when it goes crazy, they probably are willing to test the waters. Because if something goes super viral... Like a litmus test. Yeah, it's like kind of good for them. Well, they love that. The, the yeah. first half of their little uh, fire in her speech said, at Love & Hip Hop, we pride ourselves on being able to have the uncomfortable conversation or show what led to the uncomfortable. So they exonerate themselves once they say that. Mm. But mm. listen, remember uh, Caesar from Black Ink had all types of... Shout to you, I'm just report. He had all types of bad stories going on about him, and they kept him there. It wasn't until he started beating that dog up, and the noise got loud, and he said, that wasn't me. And then they put another video out of him and the dog. Clip, clip. Yeah, once the that noise was his show. Loud, once the noise gets loud enough. That was his show. Get, re get re him out of here. Mm -hmm. Too much, too much noise. Yep. Advertisers bugging. You can't. Yep. Abuse a dog on video. No, definitely abuse not. a black man. You can't abuse a dog. Well, like, yo, no, know the history of where you at. <laughs> That's true. Mm -hmm. is, is ever commented the biggest thing on that show? I'm having. I'm not caught up I enough mean, with the show. I don't know to be able to say That's Atlanta. I'm not really. I'm not familiar. Gotcha. Erica Mena has been one of yeah. the biggest stars on of Love, Love and Hip Hop, Hip -Hop. for mm -hmm. a over a decade. Yeah, yeah, over a decade. <sighs> Over Which is why they a keep long time. moving up. I'm here to hear to hear to hear. True, true, true. Yeah. She gonna spice things up over mm -hmm. here. Let's send her to mm -hmm. Miami. Let's send her to Let's send her here. Let's send her here. Yeah, true. There's a few times they were trying to get rid of Erica for good, though. Like the handled, you don't see Mona do that. No. I didn't the see handled, I didn't know that part. The handled said, gotcha. <laughs> the handled said, you're gone now, buddy. Got my, got my reason. Mm. 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 What can you do? Niggas start protesting. Go ahead to Zeus. Pulling them dollars. Go ahead to Zeus. Don't, don't let Natalie, right don't let Natalie Nunn make all the money. I knew they wasn't trying to bring her back when they sent Safari to Miami to go kiss all over the Marlon the nigger girl. They said that. <laughs> they start calling. Um, oh, fuck. She she posted like never. Mind. Yeah, she posted some shit saying, I was doing my job, leave me alone, I do my job well, it's the end of the show, that's it, stop hitting me. She was at a pool party. Erica Mena? No, Marlon Negra. The last one? Yes. Erica didn't respond yet, right? <laughs> uh, no. No, Erica has not mm. responded. I tried to call her. Hmm? I did. So she was like, get aside, see what happened. That seemed like such a sweet thing to do, right? But when I know people is going through like a storm, I don't call mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I know they, Respect. I know that phone is on fire over there. I try to wait to us. A lot of times, lighten they, up a little a, bit. A lot, a lot of times they want to vent sometime and tell their side of the story to the people that matter. Yeah, to them. So that was know, a, lot. a call can. You know, I'm just checking on you, making sure you're good. Yeah, even even if it ain't to hear your side of the story, it's just, yo, know, I yeah. fuck with you. I know you. Whatever this is, you're going through something. So, see, sometimes that shit is looking at like you just calling me for the tea. That's True. what I'm saying. If you're you know not saying? trying you to, I don't want to talk tea. about it. Just yo, you good? Me. Cool. Yeah. I've done that quite a few times with somebody I, I've seen going through some shit. Yo, ain't, I ain't calling about that. I'm just saying, what up? On. I ain't spoke to you in months, nigga. Don't call me you now. You can't call the you can't call the Jamaican girl a monkey and your kids is Jamaican. <laughs> Why? Why can't you? Just can't, bro. Because you have to raise your Jamaican kids. I know. But sometimes in the heat of battle, the, the real way you feel comes out. And that's the problem. And that's the well, problem. That's, yeah, we saying the same thing. Oh, no, no. Oh, I, I'm saying, oh, no, no, no. I'm agreeing with you. Yeah. I thought you meant like, that's what happens. You think? Mm. Okay. Do I think what? Yo, it's too, it's, it's, it's too much. Uh, not too much. That sounds... Wow, it's so much uh, interracial everything mm -hmm. fucking that many families across the country are having to deal with this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, I hated black people. 
my grandkid is black. And, I, and, or, I'm, and I'm infatuated mm-hmm. with my grandkids. And so now I'm le- I, I've said yeah. this a million times. And the other way, it's not just black people. No, I know. I said it a million times. I said, yo, interracial dating and is starting to take away some of these racial lines that motherfuckers had. I think that um, segregation. Because it, it, honestly, in the United States, well, I can't speak for everywhere in the United States. I can speak for the places I've lived. Segregation is alive and kicking. Yeah, it is. Tough. The blacks live with the blacks. The whites live with the whites. True. The Asians live with the to Asians. To a degree, obviously. The Hispanics yeah. live with the Asians. I mean, it's more a little economic, bit more, but yeah. yeah. It, Tell it, me where, because I don't know. In a lot of like, like you saying legally or just no, 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 just, no, just just they doing, just happens. Yeah, it even, just happens. Yeah, it just happens. It's okay. not like yo, you can't move to Fort Lee if you want, but. But you know what Fort Lee is. For the, the, Most cities have like a, a quote unquote black side or quote unquote yeah. white side. Or the blacks the live poor in this particular white side. Yes. And the, yeah. mm-hmm. That's that's just how things are. Like segregation is still alive. It's not legal segregation anymore. It's not enforced. Where, yo, I like can't that. Go you can't go over there. So y'all look at that more as segregation than classism. Yes. They, I mean they go hand in hand. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. They go hand it's in both. hand. It's because both. even if you poor, because the class, even if you poor and you white, you don't necessarily live by the poor blacks. The poor blacks will live over here. The poor whites will live over here. They just have their own section. Y'all both poor. It ain't like y'all just integrated because y'all poor. Y'all might be in the same quote unquote class of people, but y'all don't still live together. I don't have to argue. This is no, no, it's 12, not an argument. 12 states I feel comfortable going to. No, it's not an argument. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. So what's happened is we have these, um, these handed down biases about mm-hmm. blacks, whites, Hispanics, this and that. So when your Hispanic daughter comes home with this black dude, yeah, no, they eighty six and all that shit. Mm-hmm. Can't wants to dick in them and they nut it. Oh no, shit. no, I'm saying the no, kids, saying these, these, that, that, these that kids, that kids getting abused with all of that. Damn, bitch. <laughs> No, he was saying they're 86 and the couple. They can't once 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 the baby's here, fam. It's no, 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 no. He's that's saying they're 86. I'm agreeing with you. The, 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 the biases. Oh, got you, got you. Yeah, yeah these that. newer yes. couples are yes. 86 and all that. A bunch of that, of that shit. Mm-hmm. Hey, dog, we're not, we not on that. We're I think it hope that the younger generation, it seems like, is going to be a lot better than... Like, I even thought our lot, generation was, but it was something, somewhere somewhere along the lines, some shit got fucked up. And, with racism? Yeah. I, th- I, think it's, I think it's a dying thing. I think people trying to hold on to it more than... I think it's a dying thing. I even think with, with emergence of um, financial uh, ascension on behalf of all the races, it's killing that shit. College, shit like that. Like, again, you could go to college. Four of us could be in college. Uh, sweet mates. Mm-hmm. You from Nebraska. 6'5 right. white boy basketball star from Nebraska. You from Compton. I'm from Newark. You from Chicago. Yo, dog. Me and Parks might end up being fucking him being the godfather of my kids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's from fucking Nebraska. I never lived by no white people. I only heard that all of these bad rumors. He never lived by no blacks. He only heard these bad rumors. We go to the club. He a white boy that allowed to fight. He fucking niggas up for me. That's literally what be happening. And, and through that college, and you know what I mean? Intermingling. Between that um, and fucking. <laughs> I think between that and fucking that too, but you get what I'm saying. Like, yo, that shit has bridged a ton of 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 gaps, a ton of them. That in the fucking, the fucking, the fucking, the fucking. No, wait, the, the, I, the I grand, like that. The grand, the grandkids are literally bringing these families together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it all comes out at the wedding. At the wedding, the differences, the differences the will show. Come out, it'll show. But so Mark's right. wedding was so smooth. No, I come yeah. out when the older Mark's family members get drunk. Wedding. That's when it come out. <laughs> you did. That was a vibe. O- older family members get drunk. They come yeah, out. No, it's gonna come it, out. But again, they don't live that with that you. They're not you part no, of raising saying. your kids. You, 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 Let's you say Brem's family was racist toward white people. Your mm-hmm. family was racist toward Hispanics. Mm-hmm. So, at the end of the day, it's fuck y'all. This is who I fell in love with. This is who I'm marrying. Thank God that wasn't the situation. I'm, no, I'm just, yeah, no, I said, no, no. I, I and, and then when y'all start like having that, no. little Parkses running around, yeah. yo, the grant is hard. You got to be a different type of nigga to not or, fuck with or the Or the flip babies. side to that is they just won't fuck with that side true. of the family more. True, like, true, like true. Um, what's the name? Uh, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, that type of shit. Like, yo, y'all want to fuck shit? Cool. We got it. Like, yo, you got to be a different type of motherfucker to not fuck with the babies. You gotta baby be, soften everybody up, fam. Deep hatred. Yeah, you got to yeah. be on some other shit, not to fuck with the babies. It's some. That's, it, that's it existed out. for hundreds of years. It's so yeah, it's seen life, nigga. <laughs> I'm that baby, Pappy. <laughs> <laughs> 
you gotta be doing something, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with you, y'all? Listen, niggas are not fuck with that baby. Yeah. A lot of y'all out there can't go see your little brother across town. <laughs> yeah. A lot of y'all got, got that. Y'all got some sisters out there. Right, right there. Y'all can't go see him at yeah, all. Yeah, but sometimes that's a different thing. Sometimes that's a different thing. That wasn't supposed to, like, that was a cheap baby. <laughs> Pox. That's true. He, he right. He ain't lying. He right. He ain't lying. My, my, my man told me half the projects look like them. He was like, yo, I ain't know none of them niggas. My father, he said his father oh, was cheap a rolling baby. Cheap baby. Oh, I thought you said the cheap baby. Yo. <laughs> yo. What's wrong with yo. you? The cheap baby. Yeah. Nah, I got a little, little cheap baby. baby. That's <laughs> That's the ass baby. <laughs> you can't say. Oh, oh wait, I think you should. Dirty dusty ass baby. Go on, man. Yeah, cheap <laughs> ass baby. Yo, Take terrible. your ass off. I think you say that, man. <laughs> cheap baby. Oh, that's oh, crazy. Man, this guy's a fool, son. Wait, where my headphones at? Let this groove. <laughs> nah, y'all are funny. Yo, this this the shorty that was at. We ain't recording, right? Yeah, we're still recording. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never, <laughs> never mind. What, what you looking for, fam? I got a clip of somebody basically talking about kicking the baby to the side. <laughs> like uh, I'm trying to find it. Women crack is. They be they are so. I like white women crack is. They be they are so. <laughs> this is not it. Don't go to that gas station. Uh, the bath woods are stale. <laughs> Yeah, and you know what else? And uh, the fans are down there. Often, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, thank you, Sarah. You're welcome. You know? You're welcome. You got five bucks? <laughs> Yo, that is hilarious, man. They Holy do. shit. That's yeah, hilarious. Truck driver Betty voice. Yeah. No bullshit they do. Here we go. Airbnbs. Oh, New York City launches an all-out attack on Airbnb starting today. Tell us the about it, Billy. The monthly average rent in New York City is a sky-high $5,600, and they blame Airbnb and essentially shut it down starting today in the Big Apple. Like Here it. is what, how, and most importantly, why. What is it? Strict new regulation on hosts. No more than two guests. Mm -hmm. And no less than the 30-day time frame, unless oh, the host is staying with the guest. Oh, that's everybody. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. That literally eliminates every Airbnb I have ever rented. Mm -hmm. How? Every Airbnb host must register with the city. Bloomberg estimates 15,000 New York City hosts. 257 have been approved. There's a $5,000 fine to hosts who don't comply. Oh, and why? You. That'll teach you. Unaffordable rent levels. New York City is hoping those that were doing weekend rentals on Airbnb will now turn them into annual rentals Never. and bring down that $5,600 average. This will help New York City renters. <coughs> this will hurt tourists, Airbnb, and its hosts. Sky-high rents are not unique to New York City. What city is next in the attack on Airbnb? I disagree with some of that. I, I agree with, with all of it. I disagree with the I, last part. I agree with all of it. <laughs> I disagree with all of it. Why do you think rent going to change? Oh, I don't know that rent's going to change. That yeah, part, I, don't, I, don't I think they'll keep the price because the, the, the price is the price now. Price. So that, part, that part, I agree with you. That's a major part. He's saying that they did it to allegedly lower the monthly rents in the city. I think it will. I don't have believe an, that it, part. It'll have an effect. It'll I don't think effect. that's why they did it. I don't, I don't, I don't, they didn't do it for that. I what did. effect do you think it'll have? They I, did I, it. I read, uh, my buddy's been telling me about this shit, and they said it, I think it was something to the effect of it was an astronomical number. I think it was 23,000 apartments in Manhattan alone will become vacant. Mm -hmm. The people that are renting out these apartments want them rented out. True. Like, they're not going to just be like, That's true. fuck it. <laughs> like, they're going to get it for whatever they can get for it. No, that's not point. true. So what's happening is, let's say hypothetically, your Airbnb is renting for $300 a day. Uh -huh. Know who's losing? The hotel industry is losing. Mm -hmm. The landlords are not losing. It's not going to change market rent. The hotels are losing because hotels in New York City are so expensive that 
let's say you got a family of five, it's a, better option. a family of six coming yeah, from yeah. out of town. If you got older daughters and older sons, mm -hmm. you might have to rent three separate hotel rooms at three, four hundred dollars a night. Mm -hmm. I could go rent an Airbnb for five hundred, six hundred dollars a night for the whole joint. Right. Cool. Market rent is going to still be market rent. So if yeah. I have a three bedroom apartment and it's going for eight or nine grand, I'm still going to rent it for eight or nine grand. I'm not going to say, yo, give me 5,500 because I'm starving to rent. I could just base it off the last time, which was very recently, that I saw a shitload of apartments come on New York City and you could get fucking two bedroom apartments on the Upper East Side for like $2,000, which was during the pandemic. Like you could get the most ridiculous deals on apartments. That you have never True. seen in your entire fucking life. But that's because people got scared and started leaving the city. Yeah, no doubt. But the New York rent, they just put an article out, the one he quoted. This was two, three weeks ago. New York rent is at its highest it's ever no been doubt. on an average. The average mm -hmm. apartment in New York City is $5,500. I never heard this, the rent will go down. No, the average three-bedroom are... apartment in New York City is ten seven. I think. That is insane. So again, mm -hmm. market rent is going to be market rent. But if I'm renting it on a 30-day level... At seven hundred, eight hundred dollars a day, I'm making more money than market rent. But at the bare minimum, I'm gonna go get market rent. It ain't like market rent is six grand. I'm gonna be renting my shit for four grand. No, somebody for six grand gonna come take it. If there's more inventory available, there's gonna the prices are gonna go down. It's New York City. Yeah. So twenty three thousand Airbnbs don't even put a dent in the available. That was just in Manhattan, I think. I think no, that, that number may be wrong. Even the end when he was like, high rent is not unique to New York City. I was like, well, since when? It's not unique, but no, it's, it's not, not unique, very many But it's places. not many places that have rent the size, the, 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 the rate of New York. Correct. I just, I, I just think it's wrong. I think the hotel industry is getting their asses kicked. Yep. And I think those are the people that are putting pressure <laughs> on the city. Like, yo, dog. Do something. We building well, these both. hotels here. Now y'all not helping us. Y'all got to stop this shit. It's That's both. what I think it's is both. happening. It's both. It looks to me, it's just like when the uh, Uber shit popped off in New York first. Like, it was like, yo... Taxi industry is getting beat. Mm -hmm. Help it. Like, we're mm -hmm. gonna put some pressure on y'all. Mm -hmm. Do something to take care of us until. We've been the ones supporting the yeah. city for mad Same long. Same Y'all gotta help us out. Until y'all find a way to. You know I, what I mean? I, this, I, this does. I do feel bad for some of the business owners that had the Airbnb shit rocking. It mm -hmm. was getting money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you bought it under the premise of. See, what made. Mm -hmm. I can't even say. But you bought it under the premise of. Um, short term rentals mm -hmm. Right It's funny that you Stand on this side Because when they did that In Atlanta You took the opposite side Slow down Because my memory's bad <laughs> They did it in Atlanta first When they did what in it, when, no. they, when they stopped The Airbnb shit In Atlanta first And I was on the side Of the landlords Like yo dog If I went and bought a house Under the guise Of short term rentals mm -hmm. So now I might have paid Top dollar for that house Because I know I can make the money back Doing Airbnb mm -hmm. And in that I said what you said, fuck them niggas. <laughs> and basically, you and Corey said, fuck them niggas. So, so fuck I, you as in the landlord? Yes. Oh, yeah, because you're a landlord-ish. I know. I'm going to always say fuck the landlords when I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Some landlords in love. Nah, but you, you get what I'm saying? So I might have bought at the top, like the house prices might be 700 A normal investor may not buy that house because they can't rent it out and make a profit. Short-term rentals, I can Whereas the monthly rental for the unit might be five grand a month. Short term rentals, I might be making 15 a month. So now I can spend at the top of the market and buy that unit because I know I can make the money back in short term. Now, now more importantly, what does that do to the person who got a couple of Airbnbs, right? Fucking now, now this new law comes into play. Now I can't, now I can't rent these shits out. Bro. And that note still do. That mortgage still do. You, you could, can you still could rent it out. You can rent it out. <laughs> but, well, you, but, but you might not rent it out and turn a profit. That's the problem. Yeah, you will. You, yes, you but might, even if you don't. Wrong parts, but but um, even if you don't, so what? So now my mortgage is $7,000 and I'm only getting $7,000 in rent. So if something breaks, I'm, I'm in the green. I mean, I'm in the black. Red. Red, 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 red I'm sorry. If, red. if something breaks, then I have to fix it as the owner, but I now have somebody I paying pay off paying off my property I'm breaking I, I, even I'm not making any money but I'm, and I'm losing at the end of the year nobody buys house buys shit to lose because you still got maintenance you still got to pay the water you still got to do other shit you still Taxes, got that stuff shit. that comes along with renting the shit out you, he do that shit like when he get that off like when the housing market fluctuate and when it's bad he get to do that nah. but you don't never account for you when just, it flips you just yeah. changed your, your narrative in the same um, same okay, conversation okay. because if, if the market rate is $10,000 for an apartment that's a three bedroom Whatever. Mm -hmm. 
and the market rate is going to be the market rate no matter what the inventory sure. is, mm-hmm. then he's going to be a, it's going to be a W no matter what you do. It's not going to be as big of a W as doing the the monthly or the uh, short term. Yeah, but what what? All right, correct let me, me if I'm let wrong. Me, let me go slow. Hold on. Correct me if I'm wrong. The average two bedroom in New York Don't City. Up, is, nigga. No, the average two bedroom in New York City <laughs> is well over a million dollars. Well yeah. over. It's like one point six million dollars is the mm, average. Maybe mm-hmm. one point six million dollars. I'm telling you, in Manhattan, maybe Manhattan. Yeah, one point six million dollars for two. New York bedroom. City's five bros. Two bedroom. Right, one point six. So if I bought that, y'all are talking about Manhattan. Manhattan is Manhattan. extreme anomaly. Yeah. But, the, but that's what I thought we were talking about NYC. But NYC, is. New York NYC City is, is all of it. Okay, cool. I, I don't know the rents in the other places, mm. but the house prices are relative. Mm. So if I buy a two bedroom in Manhattan that I know I can rent out for, let's say, four or five hundred dollars a day, five hundred times thirty is fifteen grand. Mm-hmm. I can now pay. A ten thousand dollar mortgage, and I'm a pocket that mm-hmm. amount of money. Cool. We we are clear on the numbers. Yes. Mm-hmm. Ten thousand dollars in my mortgage. Can I ask a question before you sure, go further. Sure. What was that homeowner doing before Airbnb? If he owned the same property. Everybody's different. You might not have bought it. That's the point I'm making. That's what I was getting ready to ask you. You may not have bought that as an investment because you know that your guy. When you bought it, I'm lo- I'm totally using this for short term rentals. Mm-hmm. That's no, the I can only get this much a day. No one I could get this much so a day. So I can pay for it out of that. If I'm your not, business then, is then that dependent on it, then you should get the license. Then you shouldn't have bought it. That's not true. I understand what you're saying. But I don't think you should have bought that. People making a shit ton of money off Airbnb they for are. the last mm-hmm. five, six, seven years. Yeah, but that's I know, but for a few years now, it started in LA. Atlanta? Atlanta? Dallas did it. Yeah, you know that shit. No, it's, it's they may have been the first to bust a move, but LA was the first place complaining about what the Airbnbs are doing to the tourism and the money that the town is making. So what I'm saying is, as somebody spending the money that he's talking about on the home, I have to prepare for a worst case scenario in the event that they start changing some laws so mm-hmm. I can't get this Airbnb money. Like he said, it was a lot of niggas getting a lot of money. It's a lot of money. And for the most part, I usually when people. you see that happen, you know something coming. Something's coming. You know, something, <laughs> you know some yeah, bullshit coming. Yeah, I might not. That, that's, it sucks for them, but it's easier said than done. Listen, though, you hit the lick. It. How yeah. many years do you want to hit the lick, though? Right. <laughs> then it's that too. Y'all was up, 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 up. Super with up. that Airbnb Super shit. Super up. Hundreds and thousands of dollars. Mm-hmm. Shit, Parks just sent me the shit. I knew they was doing it already, though. But for fucking the house in Montclair, ever since I left, mm-hmm. them niggas will not put a tenant in there. Of course. Right. Mm-hmm. There is no way on God green earth they will rent that shit. Yo, my home, I told you, I hit you. My, my brother you hit, hit me. me. He hit my brother me. Hit me. was hit like, me. yo. Everybody Ain't this hit a me. cold crib? They, sh- they written that shit off a of video shoot. Nigga, my yeah. homegirl told me she made $80,000 last year. She has a, she got a nice house, but she got a pool in the back. Mm-hmm. It's a service where you could come rent her pool yeah. for three hours. Yeah, yeah. Just anybody that has a, a pool. Right. Excuse me. You could come rent a house pool for three hours, two mm-hmm. hours. You want to shoot a video? She she sells her. She told me, I forgot who just did a video on her gym. But, yo, they make a ton of money. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. If, if you bought the house under that premise, mm-hmm. like, yo, I'm only going to use this house as but, a movie yeah. house or as a rental house for video. That's short sighted. Some people do it, bro, and they making money off of it. So now all of a sudden the city comes in and changes the rules or changes the laws. Especially so overnight. You fucked. <laughs> Especially that's when spending, That's spending beyond your means. Woo. Who, on how many that. cities changed the law? Only New York so nah, far? Atlanta, 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 New Atlanta. Orleans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Again, the hotel industry is getting their ass as well. It's, it's not the city. That's bullshit. All the place where the black people is getting a lot of money. Because, like, tourism oh, tourism is increased based on Airbnb. People are wanting to come to the cities now because it's less. You don't have to spend the hotel money. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I'm not cutting my nose to spite my face. If the city started losing, that number L.A. put out when they first reported that. It's bullshit, though. Okay. I, but the I, hotels is getting their ass whooped. I think that's that's what I think. Is this, this just is an Airbnb thing or no. is it, like, VRBO? Yeah, hotel, is it all of the... But, but hotels have okay. deals with the city. True. I'm, 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 That's listen, the point. If the hotels take I'm a, a hit, the city's taking a hit. So we don't want to take this hit no more. Do something. They did. They did. They and did. When, on top of that, the people are saying the rent's too fucking high, which it is. I would still just go buy. <laughs> That's a house that guy. Right there in that. Connecticut. Yeah, the rent's too but, fucking high. Air, huh? Oh, the rent not gonna fall. I'm, I'm, I'm not even saying if I, I wanted to get my fall. Airbnb shit off. I'm not, actually, the ill shit. Uh, I don't know why. Yeah, I think anybody gonna listen to that though. Or Vegas. Jersey's who? Listen to what? Vegas. Buy it in Vegas when all that shit start going this on. This apartment... Let me give you an example. This apartment right here. Well, no, you have to assume that they're going to change the law in New Jersey, too. This apartment right here. If you wanted to Airbnb this apartment out right here, you could probably get two grand a day. Get up. Let's go. 
<laughs> Everybody wrap this shit up, you know? Erickson, come on. You still got the boxes. Story, yeah. You got the boxes in the closet, you, right? You know what I'm saying? Maybe 1500 a day. Bro, times 30 times days 30. is 45 bands. We, have, not going we to could get on a get ferry, money, a nine minute ferry to New York City. So why the fuck I would I go? Get two bands of Maybe mm-hmm. 1500. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, maybe say it's a Joe, but this, no. that's no. not true. This is a three I'm talking about outside of Joe. This is a three this bedroom, three bedroom on the water. On you can get water, big ass deck, a pool, all yeah. that shit. Parking comes with the apartments in New York. Yo, dog, parking is a monster. So now, bro, say a thousand. Mm-hmm. If I had a family and I wanted, I had a daughter that was seventeen. I have a son that's fifteen. They got to get their own rooms that's damn true. near. My grandmother, my in laws, whoever's coming. I can rent this three bedroom apartment out right now for twelve hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. That's cheaper than three hotel rooms. That's what my dad is on now. Like my my little brother is big. My little sister's big. All that sharing a room shit is over. It's now. over. So yeah. It's, it's over. a wrap for that. When so now travel, again, three hotel rooms I don't gotta get. I could just rent this. It's a nine minute ferry ride that I could walk to the ferry mm-hmm. to go to New York City. Why you say ferry like that? Ferry. <laughs> it's furry. <laughs> ferry. The ferry. The furry. What I said. Ferry. Ferry. Like oh, Tinkerbell. That's the Virginia yeah. hopping gotcha. out of you, man. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> but do you see how economical it is to rent this? Yeah, it's absolutely. It's beyond yes. economical. It's... So that's my point. So now, if you making 40 grand a month off of renting this shit, then magically they just stop. So the number that you paid for this might have been at the top of the market. You might have paid $2 million for it. All right, you sound like Mel with the video vixen shit. No, no, no. I'm just give, no, I'm giving down. you an example yeah, with numbers. Passionate. I'm just giving you an example with numbers. You might have paid $2 million for the unit. I agree with you. I agree you with you, but do you, did you think you, you were going to make 10x the fucking... How long the, you thought? The, the yeah, how but I, that's where I agree. Part, the, 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 bottom, the bottom was going to we, We're knocking that off. Yeah, for yeah. an apartment that costs $2,000 a month or something. You know what I mean? And like, we're not, we not sharing in that? Yeah, no. Nah. We are fixing that. Yeah. There you go. That's, that's, so now that's when the, the Marriott start bitching, when Envue start bitching, when all of the local hotels not bit, making money because... It's more economical and, for and people. And the to, local people that live next to the shit, and there's mad people just coming in and out, doing whatever the fuck they want to the apartment, having doing whatever the fuck they shit, want to the neighborhood. Parties, you're gonna be tight, bro. Having parties, they they start bitching. I'm glad they're getting rid of this fucking um, street dining shit. Thank Ooh. God. In the city, right? Yeah, they're they making get, it so you gotta uh, you gotta be able to take it down mm-hmm. for like six months out of the year. In the winter, yeah. So no more permanent shit. So it's no more permanent shit, and that basically means for most people. They're not going to leave it up. Shit down, just like, leave it down. Not we, we back it, open put anyway. it back down and put it back up. But they're making it easier to put it back. Um, or I'm, put. They're making it easier to build on the sidewalks. The sidewalk permits uh, getting twenty better. extra seats on every single night. I'm putting that shit back up when it get hot. It's also yeah. that, um, you say that, but living in New York City, I walk by them no, every single about, day. I'm talking the rest of the yeah, I'm yeah. talking yeah. the rest. And, and we hate them shits. But what I'm telling you is they're empty ninety percent of the time, except for in a very select few places. Mm-hmm. So well, yeah, you got twenty extra seats and they're not lit and you're taking up parking spots the and there's rats and roaches the fucking restaurants that can afford in them. to pay to play and have the staffing to move it in, move or it the out, clientele. the story the storage, the storage and the clientele. Yeah. Those places will bother to do it. Yeah. For sure. Mm-hmm. You talking about Manhattan, the city. Yeah. I can't Prime. speak for nowhere else. Yeah. The area else probably ain't gonna keep dragging this shit. Yeah. Gonna take that shit down. But over there is a couple of them spots right there on Madison and Fifth Avenue oh, yeah, Park, yeah. and they're gonna move it. Facts. Because them white people don't all times, all times of the day. Facts. They be having such a blast when I drive by. Look, I be like, damn, I need to eat over here. I need to eat outside. <laughs> yeah. I need to. Oh, fuck, fuck, same, same thing. Same thing. Fuck same thing. Lying for us. Here, here. Get my over easy. They be day. smiling and shit. Yeah, they be happy. They, they be again. talking, grooving. Toasted. And New York's so weird. You pass by the spot that makes the best tomato soup in the yeah. country. It's like Relax. one and of them. And the shit do be banging. Yeah, be banging. A good line. A good line make you want to go check some shit out though. Yo, mm-hmm. a restaurant. The black oh, people nosy ass. Like a fucking tomato soup. <laughs> good, a good line in a restaurant. Like, you know what? Cafeteria I gotta see tomato what's soup used to be the thing. What you talking about? The school lunch? Yo, you was a kind cafeteria. Of, yo, you a nasty lunch. nigga, man. No, you made the me restaurant so cafeteria, the white joint. I know you You was in there ordering all the fucking lobster you mac. Ate, you ate cafeteria. You ate. 
That was just why you used to live there. That used to be that shit. Cafeteria. You still go in cafeteria cafeteria? four nights a week. Yo, let me tell you something. COVID changed New York dining hours. So, you know how you used to be, just used to be able to find a restaurant just like that. Who would that serve food up until midnight? Mm. Not no more. Shit regularly closes at 10 o'clock. So at 9.30, when you are just getting out of something, 9.45, 10 o'clock, can't find shit open. Cafeteria is still open. I wouldn't go to cafeteria unless I was fucking something and it was confirmed positive. (laughs) Let me tell you something. After Greenhouse, cafeteria line used to be was down the block. That's a fact. But the people and them listening niggas used in to Africa, move that rope we're, like this. We're talking about a, a restaurant, a, restaurant. In New York City. a staple, an institution in here in New, New York, York City, City. That after the clubs, people used to run right over there. You couldn't really get in at the door if you were black you or were, didn't know someone. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What? What was, what, what? Hey, yo, Joe, hold on. What? Yeah, that's what, what was that? What was Cover that dino? <laughs> hold on, sorry. You like all the spots here for gold. What's up? Yo, this nigga's a fool, I'm yo. I'm just saying. That's why I never fucked with uh, the cafeteria like that. Joe, you could have gotten in the cafeteria. I got in there Easily. a bunch of times. Okay. But there was also times where it was a hard night. It was also times where it was a hard night. Well. Really? Chad. Why you do that like you think I'd be like you've no, you I'm know not that saying, to be true at Pergola. I, it, it, it could be good, no, it could be the bad. Funny, the funny part is the spot. If he don't make a phone call, Ice has a bad night. True. I'm just saying, if you act like that, privilege don't come with you. There are spots that you, they move the golden rope for Joe, that other motherfuckers have a bad night. Oh, yeah, but when I'm, when I'm, when I'm. It comes with the familiarity. Yeah. Yeah. I I understand what he's saying, but when I'm, when I'm concluding something about a whole door to like a, a famous spot, I'm not just going off my experience at the door. Like, I'm not saying pergola, and I like pergolas, I don't want to keep using them, but I'm not. Naming Bro, a spot, greenhouse, and saying, marquee, uh, wine and spirits, anywhere where there's a crowd of people that like to commune, mm. some motherfuckers gonna get preferential treatment. Nigga, we used to in see the that ghetto, me and Ice could go generate. to certain places, and they, they gonna move around. Everything, everything, some- everything that you're saying is true. Gotcha. That don't change the fact that cafeteria at one point was known for. <laughs> not letting some of the brown, black and brown people in, and if you got in, you definitely wasn't going downstairs. <laughs> They'll stall you out. I mean, yeah, I, I ain't never that happened. I didn't deal with that. <laughs> Pretty privilege. <laughs> oh, no, it was money. Ooh. Oh, no, nah, I'm not trying. Nah, man, you are man. Yo. I'm not even saying me. Yo. I'm not even saying no, that. No, 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 you are. No, 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 you are. We heard nah, you. Nah, he said that My shit team at home. My team at home. My big dog. No. That link this shit got to feel like a bad. No, at one point, at one point, my team, we would spend money on every four nights a week. My dogs. You had a team, nigga? Bro, where yes. who your team, nigga? Stop, yo, you know, not, not, if cafeteria four nights a week, so if you get in that type of business and they not starting no problems, everybody coming and spending a bunch they of know money. You. They know what you coming in here no, to do, nigga. The, 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 the general manager name used to be Chad. You hit the nigga, yo, how many you with? Five. <laughs> you're a fashionista, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's nothing you can do about it. He's a rest of Easter. Hey, yeah, you're a food in Easter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, you stupid, yo. But what was, was that, Chad? Same was, thing you do. What up the street? What are those or anywhere you go, you mm-hmm. text the older. Joe could go on the spot right, right there with that on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get what's wrong with that. The niggas made I told Ice to go to fucking Burlington. Be- go to Bellington. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? You could go in there with fucking flip flops. on. That was a Saturday. No, no, it was a Friday. It was a Friday, Stop. right? It was right at the pot. Look, look, look. Friday. Friday. <laughs> you tried it. It was a Friday. No, it's not. no, but wait. Oh, I, let me fight back. Man, I'll yo, fight back a little bit. If I get the wrong security nigga over there, though, you gonna say go go get the boss? Yes. Stop. You, you talking to me? You gonna say yo? Fuck you. Go, go get the get, boss, go, please. Yeah. And you yeah. gonna sit out there with that face? <sighs> yo, yo, what's up with your man, yo? Oh, you gotta come out with me now. I've updated. <laughs> I've, I've updated that. You just walk right now. I just I knew it. I knew it. I walk right by like they didn't even say nothing. Yo, dog, let me tell you. Move. Yeah, listen, listen, move. This is broke. Move. This by is the broke. time you look to grab me, I'll be at the owner. Broke, <laughs> broke Joe. This is broke Joe. Uh-huh. We go to a club one day. Uh-huh. Nigga don't got no license. He said, "Yo, let me get your ID." You remember what your response used to be? I have no idea what you're talking about. My face is ID. Don't <laughs> shit. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That sound like some joke shit. That do sound like joke. That's hundred percent some joke shit. <laughs> I wasn't there. I believe it, bro. My face That's is you. This I don't is remember broke, it, but I believe Joe. It. Yeah, I remember. This that is sounds about right. guest house home, Kane, Joe. It's because of all of those runs that ish names. I'm so grateful for him. I think about him a lot because now 
anywhere I go in the city, you know the door from whether mm-hmm. it be from show from from here mm-hmm. from greenhouse you know the secure you know just from being outside you know these people so i'm grateful for those Shit days thank fucking god thank god niggas pink elephant to, yo look niggas want to kill elephants. michael paul michael paul little arrogant pompous ass uh yeah. excuse me 10 june <laughs> <laughs> no not tonight <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah go ahead go ahead home nigga just be like yo 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 just to be like bro now nah, here go the one all right just stand right there and then you let 50 <laughs> 70,000 <laughs> people Hey come wait through. right there I got you Just wait <laughs> hey, It's there. freezing outside Been there, been there before Yo That's some freezing yeah. That little greenhouse line On the left Used to be Around the corner <laughs> You like uh, Yeah my man <laughs> But On that same On the same type of Friday Or whatever weekend that was When you came over there Not dressed appropriately Knocking on the window Looking homeless I I tapped the owner They let you right in True Way better than you did Ice when y'all went over there I didn't have a plug Wait what? I don't know the owner Of the spot The same spot He won't let me in how am I going to get ice in if he won't let me in? Nigga tell your ice, yo. That's not I true. I do um, <laughs> It's just like nah, a lie. Me, me, me and my man, nah, we going in. I'm going to holler at you tomorrow, yeah, though. Yeah, we don't, we don't, you know, ain't no hey, look, ain't no traffic, so you, you can get traffic. back oh. to the highway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's right there. Yo, you good? I was like, you know what? This embellished. This is the embellished crew. I'm going to go back to Newark where, you know, I walk in anywhere, right? So it's cool. Nah, just stick just, to the rivers you know, and lakes I'm used to. Just now, I be walking in there with Ux. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I'm walking there with with a tank top all. on, the old school. Yeah, he gonna some say bullshit. Shit. But that's that's the privilege of familiarity. Mm-hmm. Yeah, still bags up nice at the bar. Yo, hey, dog. I mean, just, I'm telling you, that cafeteria line used to be crazy. Niggas used to be, yo, how the fuck the fuck is them niggas? You like. <laughs> you go in there, you, niggas talk crazy. Tomato that lobster, soup, that lobster mac and cheese was over. That tomato soup is fire in that bitch. Oh, I believe that. I don't even eat that. That, that shit is that. fire. Hey, what, what was the diner that people went to after the cherry lounge? Chelsea show? diner. Chelsea. Mm. Chelsea diner. Club Chelsea. <laughs> I done seen a <laughs> lot of niggas, niggas get over there too. Chelsea not there Chelsea no diner. Too many niggas died. Yeah, yeah niggas that robbed over there too. Couple robbed. Niggas was getting their asses rolled out of Chelsea, boy. I think I almost got robbed in Chelsea. I'm French Chelsea. I think Chelsea. Where I'm French Chelsea, Chelsea wasn't bad. I was in Chelsea. there one night. I don't know how we did. You don't remember Chelsea Diner? I where think I almost it? got robbed. 23rd. 23rd, 23rd Street and 9th, and 9th mm-hmm. Avenue. Oh, yes. I didn't go there. What? Nope. Oh, yeah. You was bougie. That's right. right. That shit yes, was lit. I was. Or scary. Chelsea. Yes. I was or scary. Both. Macked one night. That shit was Both. lit. Yeah, Buffy did used to be over there. What? I was trying to go home. Chelsea was in. Safe. Chelsea was in. I was a cafeteria girl. Not Chelsea, but cafeteria wasn't open when Chelsea was rocking. It was so many niggas was, getting robbed and early. dying. At, oh, well, then at, that's why I wasn't there. No, you was around. No. You, no, um, I've been going to cat. I got here in late 2000. You're my age. I, it has nothing to do with age. Like it has to do with when I got to America. No, I'm telling you. So when I was 20 and I was outside, you was 20 and outside. Club I, wasn't, I like didn't that, live though. here when I was 20. It's cool tonight. Uh, well, when did you move to New York? Uh-oh. I'm telling you. I'm asking. 2000, the late 2000s. So I was like turning... Like, late 2000s? Yeah, like... 2008, No, no, late 2000, the year 2000. Like, like September 2000. That's Club Chelsea. Cafeteria wasn't popping then. Cafeteria came around and like... You can't uh, force somebody to be... <laughs> I want to say... No, cafeteria she was open like 2000, 2001. Okay. Because that was when I was bartending. And then, mm. like, Aubet was during that time. Mm, Aubet. Um, Let's go, man. Nick's East 32nd between 5th and Madison. Let's go, man. I was the bartender for Black Diamonds. Listeners all over the world. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Okay. This she was saying the street. She was saying the street, though. Huh? No, you was saying the street, yeah. Yeah, so this was, yeah, bartending, doing That's music what videos. That's New York was just New York, yeah. man. It's watered down bullshit. They was killing like so many. I, they was killing so many niggas at Chelsea. I was one of the first New York niggas to say, hey, let's try that down across the street. <laughs> <laughs> that bum ass bullshit blue the and blue, white. The blue one. Like 24 the hours. blue one. I was the first the nigga went right over there. That blue one. With the joints. They like, why you ain't got Chelsea? The, the like, hey, let's just come over here to the blue one. We used to order from there. The that blue one, time. y'all. The, the blue, blue one. Yeah. I, I had to go run right at the blue B&H? one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I had to uh, uh, that is hilarious. I knew what Disgusting. I was about to say. The blue shit. Chelsea had good food too. And the blue one's still there. TikTok. Yes. That's what it's called. Mm-hmm. TikTok. 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 Wait, isn't that on 10th? Skylight. 
Skyline. 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 Yeah, Skyline. I had good times in here, too, though. It was all right. I've been in there. Go a little back from Wasn't like Chelsea. Chelsea had too much. Well, no, yeah, it was safe. Coffee shop was also cute. What? Oh. Now you're what? Trying to, you're trying See, to get it's bougie yeah. early. You trying to you're get it? bougie early. See, girls get that. Yo, you ain't gotta spend Come no on, money. Man. You That's just Melissa be pretty. Ford. Yeah. Melissa J. Ford. Get out of here. Melissa J. Fucking no. Ford. No, everybody shop. wins a What's coffee a shop. Ford? Melissa huh? J. G. Wentworth. J. G. Wentworth. I don't know. This <laughs> Melissa Ford. Yeah. What? Come on, man. Stop. Like I said, man. That's like saying everybody went to cafeteria. He just said you stand outside and freeze your balls off till you leave. Mel, Mel, what was the longest you had? They had you wait outside before. Exactly. She's, yeah, she's exactly. We got you. She's disgusted. We by got that. you. And when you say coffee shop, what are you talking about? You talking about upstairs or downstairs? I don't think Both. I, ever, I don't think I ever been upstairs. I might have been a little muddy. <laughs> <laughs> I might have been. No, turned. no, no. The upstairs is for the patrons. Yeah. Oh, I was downstairs. The downstairs was yeah. is where the couches and the music and the vibe and the. No. But you could. It was like speakeasy you walk vibes. Down. Could just walk downstairs though. Yeah, hey, that security nigga stopped it. Hey, who? You know what I mean? <laughs> Damn, yo, New York used to be so fire. lit. So lit. New York Why used to is be fire? New York's still lit. Y'all just don't go out there. Man. Yeah, nah, that shit is. Cocky. I'm open That's to it. that. Yeah, that might be it. That's, That's it. it. That I mean, it's definitely, it. it's definitely like the Lower East Side. We used to be my stomping grounds, and that shit is like OD. It's like the whole city shifted. All the shit from like Midtown, like 14th Street area, went to Lower East Side. All Lower East Side went to. Williamsburg, all the Williamsburg went to Bushwick. That Brooklyn like, shit. It just got pushed. Brooklyn's Brooklyn. hot. It's Brooklyn. Now, Williams, we were it's at Brooklyn, Williamsburg yeah. Saturday. Mm-hmm. Think crazy. Too. If all of that shit that we think was fun was still over there right now, us today would not have the same experience. Pardon me. In these, in these spots and in these not places. It was a true. feeling. It was a mo- like It listen, was an era. It was it a was moment. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. part of the beauty of it is that it was segmented. But mm-hmm. we still in the know what happened like post- Greenhouse whippish. Mm-hmm. There was no staple to go to. Okay, hold up. If you're not from New York, yeah, I'm no, sorry. I'm sorry. We just right, named a say, bunch yeah, of no, no, no. I just yeah. want to let them. But know. yo, the, the yeah. people that's in the know from around the United States and the people that's in the know from London and all of that, right. they know what greenhouse is. Yeah, for sure. They know what whip is. And whip. Yeah. Yeah. When you touch down in New York City, you knew where the fuck it was coming down to on a Tuesday night, on a Thursday they night, on Griffin, a Saturday. Griffin you knew is. what it was. Griffin. Griffin, Griffin, Griffin came after Griffin. that shit shut mm-hmm. down. Yeah. Little Griffin, Monday Griffin night was the last of the Mohicans. Yeah, like dog. You know what happened too is like the um, the membership joints kind of took like the, the Dumbo House and the Soho, Soho House, House and the, um, the other shit down there. Uh, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. The shit with the pool on the roof. All them shits. And that's all Gansevoort house? standard. Gansevoort. Gansevoort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All them shits. There's a, there's Gansevoort a bunch of them. Gansevoort open was nice. There's a bunch of them shits. But, you those know. Kind of, those kind of started nudging out once the uh, yeah, era we're talking about. Yeah, because started getting shot and poked. Yeah. So it's like, all right, I ain't going. the fucking there. pool. Lotus. Oh. Mm. Mansion mm. M2. M2. <laughs> Shit, I'm such a I'm such hey, a yo, bird. Wait. I was a Mars 2112. You think dude. I wasn't? I met some of my nicest. <laughs> yo, that Mars. Hey, yo, hold on. I had a little run at uh, Marquee when I tried to get Shishu Fufu with the white people. Marquee yo, was I, cute. There's a club that I went to when I was younger that they took me to, right? But it wasn't a tunnel. It was one section they playing one music, and then when you go in it, there's another section playing another. It's like a different DJ. What was the name of that club? That sounds familiar. That's it, that's like clubs. you walk in, it's, it's like right here. We walk, it's, it's mad places. people here. It's the big ass club. Nah, but that shit was big and it was it was unique. Oh, maybe I don't know. I gotta ask Web and them. But like, you walk in and then you walk to the other side, niggas. Another whole it's new music. A whole different genre of music. Yeah, mm-hmm. a lot of clubs. I like, like them. I, I like them clubs. What? Them that was shit. huge I was though. But I, I, I can't planet, think of the name. Gente Flor, being Strada with the Spanishes. <laughs> Boy, dog. Even I guess my my late my last run was what was that spot my dad was working at? It used to be I the canal. I forgot the name room. of it. It used to be the canal. I forgot room. the name of it. Turned canal into room, yeah. I forgot the name of it. Whatever where my dad was working. That shit had a little yeah, run. It was too. rocking. Mm. That shit the had the a run. setup was shitty because you had to go upstairs on the right and you couldn't really. It was mad tight. I remember your father. But once was you got in there, that, and they had a dance floor. It was nice. Uh-huh. Pause. But how long ago was that? We just went to a couple of spots in, in Brooklyn. Know. It was like, kind of rocking this week. Brooklyn is where it's like. Actually, that's yeah. 2000 and... Some shit was kind of rocking. Seven? Some shit with an H? Eight? It was downtown. I remember when your father yeah, was Butter? It's, it's fucking with me now. I don't Damn, know. Damn, butter. Oh, my oh, God. Damn, man. Hell. <laughs> <laughs> 
You <laughs> old as hell. <laughs> what was the uh, one that's right by hey, Pop, Artichoke what was the, Pizza? I'm sorry, man. Pop, what was the name of that club you worked at on uh, Canal Street? House. 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 Damn, I miss House. All right, that's all. That's all I got. So do I. So do I. I, so do I. <laughs> I didn't like the setup. It used to be rocking. Yeah, they was in house. And that was during the Fetty Wap run. <laughs> it, was, it was good was runs. Come oh, yeah, House, H A U S. H A U S. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember his yeah. father's story, dude. Yeah. That shit was, boy. That's when I was spending my last on the table. Because you had kind of had to get the yo, table. Yo, it, the setup was so trash. When you go upstairs, it was mad tight. Mm. So you had to get some real estate in the club or you just be standing there like that. <laughs> what, what club still got, what club is still running that I don't know. has a long run? Um, that has a long run? A long run? That doesn't That's exist. Marquee, no. Marquee's the only club in the city. Go and Gold Bar. Those are the only two clubs in the city that are probably that I well, know it's of. still running. Long yeah. runs in New York City clubs is like an um, oxymoron. Yeah. Like they they just it. rename them and oh, shit. Oh, now they but, got... Uh, it's a club called Little Sister. Now they got Harbor. Little Sister, Harbor. Oh, actually, Justice uh, Justice uh, is having a party at Harbor tonight. Oh, where? He sent me some flyer. Hey, you've been to that. What's that shit um, by the bridge? Uh, Pier, um, you been there? Pier 17 or Pier... The shit the upstairs. restaurant. No, it was like a club upstairs, uh, not a club, like a, with a I, stage. You know what I'm talking about, Joe? Where? What bridge? By the Brooklyn Bridge. Uh, is it on the Brooklyn the side pier. or the Manhattan side? On the Manhattan side. It's like pier or something. This shit is lit. Mm. I've been to man niggas be up there over there. Man niggas be performing up there, son. Oh, no. Maybe we just don't need to be clubbing at all. Right? Like, right. Right. like now, we, you just got to go to the fly restaurants. Like, That's what's it? the restaurant right there, Corey, that I went to on the pier? That, remember I told you? Little Lounge. It was a, it was I the, like Speakeasies, finally. Speakeasy. The new Speakeasies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speakeasies, nice. Speak easy's our next. That shit. See, oh, um, did y'all? Um, oh, did y'all? No. Did y'all see the finale of uh, Special Ops Lioness? Not yet. Let me plug my ears. You never saw it? No, not the finale. I didn't even know that was a finale, but these short seasons is getting on my nerves. It's eight episodes. They, it shit. It was ten episodes for a season a minute ago. Now we down I'm to eight. I'm just gonna let y'all talk. And shit is just getting rushed because when the episode ended, I looked at my girl and said. Why did that end like a series fina- a season finale? And I, then we went to check to see what it said. And it didn't say anything about a episode. finale, which would be weird if it's an eight episode order. It has to be the finale. It can't be the finale. But For the season, season or series? For the season. season. Okay. Yes, it is. It can't be. It has to be. This is first season? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Did it hang did it end on a cliffhanger? No. No. Oh. It didn't. Where's the girl? Which one? The girl that left. The girl that said, fuck you, I'm out of here. I'm not doing this no more. No, they, they came back. She back in the fold. She had a target. She had a mission. She had a mark. She did that. I know. At, at, that's the end. So now we're going to introduce a new mark. No. Next season. See, that wasn't fine. That wasn't confirmed for me. That wasn't confirmed for me. Because at the end, they showed the the... the all they showed was the girl going back home talking to her fucking husband. Mm-hmm. They didn't. They didn't wrap up. Let me tell you what they didn't wrap up to me. The damn, what's my the girl I love? Not Jane Fonda, the older white lady who's married to the dude on the opposite side. Nicole, um, Nicole, Nicole, Nicole Kidman. Kidman. Nicole Kidman. Boy, she smoked that. They she killed this, no. this cast. That's, this cast. That's where the real intricate shit was. That's where the story. Her and her husband. They didn't wrap that. Be talking fucking. They, Verbal jujitsu, and they yeah. that should be going over. But niggas their heads. very last conversation was going somewhere, and they were on opposite sides, working for the opposite thing. And he cracked her fucking head, like, "Oh, you don't really want to know? Ask, ask me this. Let's get to it." They never, they never closed that. Mm-hmm. That was important. Also, uh, I know you saying they closed the the white girl uh, mm-hmm. when she handled the mark. Mm-hmm. But then when they got in that boat, you punch in the face, yo, I'm out of here. I don't want anything to do with this. That that was just the end. Mm-mm. Then what happened? She 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 uh Nicole Kidman stepped in and was like, yo, basically chill the fuck out. That is the fight. This is who you are. You got your job done, blah, 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 blah. I think the real intricate piece was Wait, so that's you saying that's it? Yeah, that was her target. That did no. See that yeah. don't that don't tell me enough. I don't think they did all that character develop that character development with her. Watch her go through all the different stages of mole and battling the, the psychology behind it I do. to end like that. I think that's the first one. On, and on. when the girl got home to her fucking husband, 
she didn't, what did they say? At the very end. She was just talking about how. She said like, absolutely nothing. No, that's no, no, not no, true, no, no. Joe. Then, then she tell said, me. She said this was a rough yeah. one. This was Somehow a really, how, really, really rough one. Traumatic that mission was for a desk damn, job. Yeah. She said this mission right here was a really, really rough one. That didn't close that to me. Uh, for somebody that was cold as ice yeah. to come home. That shit looked like be, it broke her. Yes, it broke her too. No, I'm talking, it, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking Zoe, about Zoe. It broke it, her it too. like it broke yes. her. It broke and normally she's the one that ice cold. Yeah, blood in her. Ice that, in that's her what face. that conversation yes. with her husband said. Like, yo, this was too much for me. Yeah, yes, I can't do this no more. Mm -hmm. What happened with the daughter? She recovering. Yeah. See, and everything y'all say, I don't, I don't, I don't see it. Let me say this: if y'all are right, and that was the season finale. That was horrible. No, I, no. I, I I think it was a horrible. I don't finale. think it was horrible. I think that was horrible. I, don't. I think the shit went. Now, if they setting up to close with nine or ten, so nine and ten, it's the finale, bro. That's the finale. Then that's ass. It's the finale. I don't think so. I think it's. I hated to, it. Then. I think the next season we're gonna see um, the killer girl. Mm -hmm. Like you remember, y'all watch uh, Born series. Yeah. At some point, I did. Born Identity, all of yeah. them. Born on His on first that. kill was a rough one. Remember he killed the dude in the hotel room, all that other shit? <laughs> I think this was her first kill, and I think they set in the stage for her to be the supreme mercenary killer chick. This was just her first kill. She took it rough. She, she uh, bonded with the Mark's daughter more than she should have. Mm -hmm. She fell in love with her. She fell in love with the girl. Then all that, it seemed like all of the shit y'all are saying just was really open-ended, and in a finale, I would like some of it to be closed. If I'm judging that as a finale, I don't even like how she killed the mark then. Nah, you definitely killed them the right way. Know what they know what we Wait, we, why? Re, re, rebut what I'm saying. All right, so in the mark killing, she she poked him up, right? Crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah, she but went, she, she made up. sure oh, that he was done she finished when him. she slit his throat. Yeah, she finished him. Now, what we what I think went understated was the girl that she fell in love with just sitting on a bed like this. You don't remember when they went back to the girl? Her husband, her husband to be just got killed. Mm -hmm. Her father just got killed. Mm -hmm. She's sitting on a bed like this. Like, I'm gonna get hey, you. you. Know, you and know the name that, of the show know, is Lioness. Is like, know, I'm gonna get you. You know where that you, really bitch. could go, real talk? That could lead to a second season. Because Absolutely. The, and I'm gonna tell you. Or, in the, or well, next episode. No, it, you can look it up. It's finale. Oh, no, I believe y'all. I'm just saying. But look, where it leads to is Shorty found out that father was leaving the, the business to. Um, dude, with both of them being gone, and now I'm vexed over here. Now I can be in. Now I'm the lioness. I'm in power. Yes, that sets up for some more shit to and happen. They set now. the character development, yes. and that yes. girl, she was a very strong will, independent thinking yeah. girl. Yeah. Now that y'all are telling me that that is the finale, I hate it, and and I hate it for all the reasons that y'all are saying. I think some of the storylines that they went crazy with, I think they, they just, just underserved. It felt like, like they like, just, like they just sure, hit the gas like, like, out of nowhere. Like sure, just, like sure, are you talking about mm -hmm. the girl? The girl that fell in love. The daughter. That the daughter. That was a real story. So mm -hmm. now you smoke these niggas. The girl come downstairs crying. We see her on the bed and no more of her. That's a drop of the ball. That's a cliffhanger for That's the next season. That's the cliffhanger season. for next season. You and me, bitch, is up till it's, right. it's stuck. And now. I'm taking over this. Also, I, I got billions no, of dollars FBI, to put on your head. Hey, fuck. The FBI or whoever uh, for shorty cleared her so when they ran her name, they wouldn't see nothing. True. Mm -hmm. They cleared her. Mm -hmm. Now, because the husband is mad or the husband to be is mad, he's just going to do one little extra search. No, he was doing like this. He just kept hitting it. And nothing would come up. He just kept hitting it, kept well, hitting it, kept hitting it. I think that something popped up way too easy. Me too. Way too easy Me if this too. is the finale, right? And I think what he what they did with him spotting that she was a mole or military was too quick. You, yeah. you ran in the kitchen, screamed, she killed you in two seconds, yes. and killed dude in three seconds, stood over him, chopped it. They gave me seven episodes making yes, me think I agree. that this was about to be the illest shit in the world. And y'all killed money right as you were humanizing him. Yo, that little scene in that, that kitchen was, a very was yes. super fire. Smoke. So why would y'all just... I, if, fire. I don't like it, it as a finale. It seems like... It seems like... It seems like... But look, it seems like the development part in that last episode hit 
just they just shifted into sixth gear and just took off. It looked they, like writers, the writer strike. They should have had another episode. Yeah, it should have been another two episodes at least. Because minimal. you can't tell me that the, the killer girl who who clearly is also falling yes. in love with the in daughter. Love. She's conflicted. You can't, yeah, you can't tell me that she might not feel what this oil, she already started to feel what he was she saying. She didn't want to kill him. Yeah. I know that, that she switched too fast. She didn't want to kill him. That's which so way that, yeah, that's I'm going to agree with you on the part. I'm going to agree with you on the part where they could have definitely got a whole episode to develop the dude, the mark. Mm -hmm. Because he's like, yo, this is the best gelato. He just seemed like a fly, dope nigga. But what the, the piece that I'm talking about is that the United States was mad at him because he basically was playing both sides. Mm -hmm. And if we can't control you, we'll make you public enemy number one. But then the powers that be higher up was like, no, let that nigga no, run. Don't kill that nigga. Don't, don't kill him. Because that's the enemy we know. We they don't didn't know close who's that step. either. They didn't close that but either. But I think, yes, they I did. think that's... No, they no, 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 they didn't, but they didn't close it. They didn't close it. They didn't close it. They didn't close that because it leaves it... That statement... If you kill him, we don't know what happens next. That's leaving it open now. True. Now yeah. he's dead. Who takes over? His daughter I'm, that is motherfucking mourning her father okay. and her dude that is going to be a menace to society from now okay, on. Okay, we've 100% spoiled this. We did. Oh, yeah, spoiler Parks. alert. Parks, it's fine. You can uncover yourself. <laughs> what, 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 I, I, I close with this. Y'all can close with whatever. I, I, my final thought is this. If it's an eight episode order, I would like for the finale to say the finale in the paragraph. That's all I got. Usually it does, but. Yeah, usually yeah, it does. Th this was. What told me weird. was when I clicked on Paramount and it said all episodes now streaming. Mm -hmm. You just say new episode, new episode. But when it said all, I'm like, wait, that's it? Oh, cool. This is the finale. Let me They're watch. They're not it. doing that. Even my telemarketer shit. I think it just ended at three episodes. Hey, man, that's and they fucking did, shit. And up they too. didn't say, hey, this is, we're ending. I like telemarketers. I heard it's fine. It's cool. Oh, it's a cool watch. Yeah. Fuckers on strike. We ain't telling y'all shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Fuck out of here. We was gonna do ten. We had to end it quick. Yeah, we had to. We had to wrap we this up quick. End it quick. Had to go back in the edit. But they I, mean, I some, enjoyed it. Snatch some shit. I, I, get mad mad nine and 10. I get mad when mm -hmm. the underdeveloped finale affects how you feel like about the entire season. But this has been a current thing. If you look at it, it's been a couple of shows that by episode six we was like, this shit is fire. One more, and then. One more would have had it right. One more would have had it right. End of that nine. I agree. Long conversation I really think with the two. father. I really think you need two. The nine. father needs to stay one. alive. Kill the him father. later. Yo, the father, a long conversation with the father over gelati. You want some <laughs> oh coffee? Wait, and the bitch escaped. Y'all. <laughs> Yo, I'm watching this shit. Y'all. With Yo, all enough, of these bro, hired enough. killers. Wait, Wait, enough. I, you ain't see it? Hold on. Hired killers. She escaped. With automatics. Yeah. She didn't get shot. <laughs> Come on, man. Sorry, I was mad at that too. I'm sorry, bro. Yeah. Come on, that pissed me off. Come on, y'all. I was mad that she didn't get shot. Yeah, I'm sitting there the whole bro. time like, hey, because we don't know it's the finale. So I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know it's the finale. So the whole time I'm like, oh, they're definitely about to shoot her. They, they're definitely about to get her. They're about to hold her captive. She should have got gonna, killed. Then they're going to have to negotiate with the SEALs. Like, no, they no, dropped no, the ball she, for a finale, y'all. She trapped behind a little rock, and then I'm like, they got your dumb ass. Here you uh -huh. go. I knew I knew Calvary was coming. All right, When they, put, they showed the overhead, <laughs> and them closing it on, I said, oh, here comes the and team. And none of the Calvary died. Nobody. All right, no, oh, somebody should have got shot. Somebody should have got shot. Somebody should have died. They should have been rushing somebody back to the boat. They ain't make it. Something. She should have got shot. All right, not bro. not kill. Well, come, on, Park, come on, automatics. <laughs> Park, come on. The switch was on we the back. We done. <laughs> we done. Ice. We done. Nah, y'all be like, no, no, sorry, dog. And another thing. <laughs> no, we done. And one more thing, that motherfucker. <laughs> no, we done. And yeah. they rigged the election. No, yeah, the, I liked it though. I liked. The, I do. I liked the behind the scenes, the the verbal play between uh, Nicole Kim and her dude. I can't wait to watch the final episode. No, 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 not. I'm talking about the, the series. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad that you get to know it's a final episode because that was a crock of shit. No, nah, I like I that knew, shit. I, 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 like I know it. it was. I know it was eight. before y'all yeah, said. Yeah, me too. I did when I, like I said, when she said all, all episodes now streaming, says, I was yeah, like, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. It don't say it on mine. Maybe I got the wrong Hulu or some shit. You got to get the IBBL too. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, clearly. Yeah. But no, nah, I, I enjoyed it. Shit, and I, and I don't really be enjoying that many series. I enjoyed that one. And Zoe uh, killed that shit. Smoke. I heard that she's one of the. Uh, she might be the highest paid actor, or her franchises. Mm -hmm. yeah, she look at it. She's Avatar. Avatar, Avatar Guardians Avengers. of the Galaxies, with, with all of that shit. Mm -hmm. And the Marvel. Avenger. Well, yeah. I'm just saying, all of that. Yeah, yeah, all of that shit. Yeah. That's... yeah. You got two billion dollar franchises she under your belt. She empty. Yeah. She catching. She she getting up there with Tyrese. Who? 
Tyree. Oh, he fast. He got one. What's the other one? Transformers. Transformers. That's it. And he got another one don't that do I, I don't remember right now. He has one more. Transformers. Okay. Get some money. I did watch that latest Transformers. It was good. Wasn't mad at it. I hated it. I wasn't mad at it. Which one? Be- the Beast Wars. Absolutely shit. hated it. Or Rise of the Beast, whatever it's called. Oh, the one with Grimlock in them? The dinosaurs. No, this is like the... Animals, man. Yeah, the animals. It's Beast Wars. Yeah. The gorillas and shit. Mm-hmm. Would a gorilla come out? It's like an optimist. It's, it's a Yo, he be going <laughs> optimist. It's ass. A, it's a, my whole life. <laughs> Yo, my whole life. Get that get man out. some help, bro. Well, now he gets his ass Damn. That nigga like Rocky. Yeah, no, my whole life. Optimist be getting his ass beat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't think of nobody else that get Rocky. their ass whooped. Like, Rocky, yo. That's I ain't never watched before. Rocky. But Rocky oh, looked like he Rocky looked like Mitch McConnell in the expendable commercial. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Nigga said he never seen Rocky. You never seen Rocky? No, no I told y'all that before. Y'all, I said I would watch it one day. It's still surprising then. You never seen right. any Rocky? No, none of them. What? You're just not in that so Never saw Rocky. So, never so saw Creed? Saw, yeah, I saw all the Creed's. Never oh. saw Rambo. Oh. None of them shit. Oh, that's weirder. It's <laughs> weird though. That's weird. Right. I didn't see the Creed's. I seen the... You trying, you're trying to piss off it. niggas again? Yeah. You doing that go. shit? Here we go. You doing that shit? Yo, you want some? Yo, you want some? Yo, I never <laughs> seen Rocky. You want some money? You want some money? Tweet that. You want some money? You want some money? I never seen none of the Rockies. I got a good night's sleep. Your shit gonna go crazy <laughs> in your mansion. I do need to get a new mattress. I need to get a mattress. This shit gonna go nuts in your mansion. Um, Danny Masterson. Okay. All right. Who is this person? Danny, do you remember that's this that's show, 70s that 70s show? I do. Mila Way Kunis. back in the way, Ashton Kutcher, Mila Kunis, blah, 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 Danny Just Masterson. Mila okay. Just Mila. Fact. Just Mila. Just, oh, okay. Well, so that you know. What's your part? So there's Mila a clip Kunis floating around. Them, there's a that's, clip floating yeah. around on social media. What's that? Sorry. Uh, what's the best milk? Oh. Uh, Go ahead, carry yeah, it's on. Premium, Premium whatever it is. Yeah, whatever it is. 93. Ultimate milk. 96. Go ahead, though. Sorry. Sorry, my bad. She is a MILF, right? That's what you got. Oh, yeah, she's a mom. That's yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. oh, okay. okay. All right. Anywho. Absolutely. So there's a, cl- there's a um, clip floating around on social media back in the heyday, like the, at the height of his fame. Um, back, I think it was like 2002, 2003. Danny Masterson is sitting with Conan O'Brien. Wait, so I'm not the biggest That 70s Show guy. But I it really doesn't. I, it doesn't even matter. It was a huge, massive show. I think it was like. I know, but which seven, character was he? The kid he, with the he afro. Was the, he was the, the he white was the, kid with afro. the curly afro. Uh, curly yeah. afro okay. dude. Got right, it. him. Okay, so he's sitting on Conan O'Brien, and this is the clip. I'll play it for you guys. You uh, you have no accent though. You have no Long Island accent that I can discern. Not really. I've been in LA for like ten years, mm-hmm. and it just goes away naturally, right? It, it goes away naturally, and then there's also certain words that there's nothing you can do about. Like my friend Bodie Elfman, he always teases me, and he says. Hi, my name is Danny Masterson. Would you like to touch my balls? <laughs> you know, I'm doing now, imitation of me. Because certain so words why are you, you just asking can't get people to do that? That's the more important question. <laughs> I mean, you got them. <laughs> yeah, right, right. You know what I mean? Accent aside. Everybody should grab. That's the more important thing. Exactly. Um, I've heard about you. Uh, and you'll be caught soon. I know you will. I will. That 70s show airs Wednesday night. So, he was just convicted um, and sentenced to 30, 30 years, years for Sheesh. rape. Um, he's also a member Is it 30 of 30 years or 30 years to life. I saw 30 that, years. Yeah. 30 years. 30. He's going to be, he's got the chance for parole. He will be 77 years old by the time he's up, um, got the chance, the opportunity to oh, tax age. Yeah. Anywho. Um, <laughs> So, uh, the internet is in it. 30 years to life. 30 years to life. Wow. Right. Okay. So, um, he's a member of the Church of Scientology. So, the internet is in a tizzy right now because a bunch of people a wrote. Tizzy. Well, they're pissed off right now because Ooh. a lot of people wrote letters in support of him. Two of those people being Ashton Kutcher and Mila, and Mila Kunis. Not Mila. Nah, yes, she wrote a letter. Bad. They wrote letters for him. Right. Um, I got to roll that back. Okay. You might have you might have to pull it back because they're it they're, 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 they're definitely <laughs> they're definitely I mean. rape apologists. Um, in Kutcher's letter, he referred to Masterson as a role model. I mean, once you word it that way. And in yeah, Kunis's yeah, letter, she vouched for Mas- Masterson's exceptional <laughs> Sorry, character. <laughs> While I am aware that the judgment <laughs> has been huh? <laughs> okay, just good. Yeah, a couple of other people wrote letters. The two people that. <laughs> 
Yeah, he can't be serious for <laughs> Let fucking. Let him read, no, man. Go ahead. Fuck. We listen. It's all good. Bro. They wrote letters, okay? okay? They wrote letters basically, you know. We will not let her be misinfo. <laughs> 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 she see she want to read the shit. It's okay. All right, you got it. You don't, have, you don't have to read letters. It's just, it's really fucked up that people feel the need to say, oh my God, but he's such a good guy and my experiences with him say this and that. And it's just like, yeah, he's still a predator and a fucking rapist. Go ahead. <laughs> One of the other people. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. No be, dog in this car. Defend it. No, not, an not, no, no, I'm not. That's why I'm. I'm just <laughs> asking. And for Ashton and, and Mila and whoever else, right? Mm-hmm. You don't know if the person did or didn't do anything. This mm-hmm. is a. This could be a friend of yours mm-hmm. that has asked, or their legal team has asked you to write letters on their behalf. Mm-hmm. You can only detail your experiences with this person. Not saying, hey, he never would do, th- he didn't do this. Because mm-hmm. you don't know. You can't mm-hmm. say that. But you can, I don't see, what's wrong with detailing your experiences with the person? So. In a character letter okay. that they asked, or their legal team asked you to do for so them. There's, so there's an actress, um, and I'll get back to what you're saying. So there's mm-hmm. an actress by the name of Leah Remini. Um, who has who was a part of the Church of Scientology, and she has since left the Church of Scientology. She has a whole docu series you know based on her Shame leaving on the Church part. of Scientology, talking yeah. about how insidious that church is, and how yeah. people disappear, and how they do everything to try to um, you know basically hide all of the dirty deeds that some of their more famous um, some of their more famous um, parishioners you know, have committed. And a lot of them are sexual assaults. And so... Sound like another church I know, but go ahead. Uh, right. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, yeah. well, whatever oh, the case, whatever, oh, the, whatever, sure. it, that, it, that's very true. And that is very true. So these victims, these crimes happened well over a couple of decades ago. And so the case is now, you know, um, seen its, um, you know, seen its completion and whatnot. But the victim's statements and all of the evidence that came out in court really proved kind of with that beyond a shadow of a doubt that he did what he did. He drugged and he raped these people. Mm-hmm. It's one thing if you are a friend of said victim. It's another thing if you are a forward facing, really, really famous person who writing this letter and it going public can actually have a detrimental effect on your career. I really don't think that that was in their best interest. Cons- I got, I got, I got a couple of things. That's horrible. First yeah. of all, I'm glad this man is and, going and, to jail for a very and long time. Oh, hold on, so a second, a second, just real I'm quick, Ice and Ish. I think we need to free Mila Kunis from the shackles of Aston Kusher. I'm with you. <laughs> I'm with you. Yo, listen. Bring her home. And you ain't really answer his question. So y'all want to fuck the rape apologists? I don't. I listen, dog. <laughs> And just let me say this: one of the other people who wrote an art, wrote um, a letter um, about his character is an actor by the name of Giovanni Ribisi. Giovanni Ribisi, he was also a bunch of accusations were leveled against him for his conduct towards women during the whole Me Too thing. So that's just accusations; they're unfounded. You know, he never faced a court of law, not to my knowledge. But if you look at the whole thing as a whole, and the Church of Scientology being involved. The whole shit is, it's just nasty work, you know? And he's where he needs to be. Absolutely. I'm agreeing he with seems, that. So he I'm literally just, seems, he raped somebody, he deserves every day that he fits in jail. Absolutely. ISIS's question was, what is the negative thing of people that re, talking about their experience that they had with this person? You ain't answer like what's the negative thing like about if 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 I had a friend that was accused of anything and my experience with said friend we not we gonna take it off of rape I'm just saying anything in general mm-hmm. and I don't have that person we just had this talk well, with Azaleas right writing in for two yeah, yeah. 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 like yeah. if I don't know that person to be that person you know what I'm saying like it's a lot of people I'm you're not, believing they were and I don't want and I don't want to take it off of the rape because if he raped somebody he deserves to do every everything day. Well, he's, but fam we just seen a man get released yesterday he spent 46 years in jail sure wrongly accused he spent 46 years in jail wrongly accused so if his people that um, gave uh, a character letters on his behalf got persecuted 
Okay, we can't use him as an example because the circumstances are vastly different. Okay. If you're looking at the, if we're talking specifically about the Danny Masterson mm -hmm. case, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there was ample evidence, not just DNA, 50, it was outcry, re like um, 50 years ago, they said there was ample evidence to send this man to jail. They I'm had, just giving you an have, example. Had, don't had, get mad. I'm giving no, you an I'm example. No, I'm not. Talking about they the time. I'm not. Like, I don't want. But here's the thing: is like I don't want to do like the what aboutism. I want to stay on the topic of Danny Masterson, stay, the circumstances of this. There. You we, can. Here's the thing: we talk is, about Mila you, Kunis you, and Ashley. You can Kutcher. absolutely write the letter, but the fact of the matter is, is that you're going to face public criticism and be called a rape apologist because Some it's just like, oh, I think he's. I think that a lot of times. I think that a lot of times it's just like, yeah, no, I, I don't know the person to be that, et cetera, et cetera. But at the same time, do you really actually, why would you know that? You know what I'm saying? Why would you know that side of that person? Just because you can write a character letter for the times that he, you were in his company doesn't mean that you know what he's capable of. No, no, no. I'm going to ask you, I'm going to put mm -hmm. it directly on you. If you were accused of something, you're on trial. I've worked with you for a while now. I, mm -hmm. I, I, kind of know you a little bit. I'm not mm -hmm. going to say I know mm -hmm. you in and out, nothing like that. I'm a serial and, killer. And your, I'm and, and your mm -hmm. legal team reached out to the pod and said, hey, y'all work with Melissa. Mm -hmm. Can y'all write letters on her behalf detailing your experiences with her? Mm -hmm. And and you innocent. I don't know if you innocent or no, not. No, and you're innocent. But hold on. And let me I don't want to I don't I don't want to put the innocent card in this one I'm right not, now. I didn't put the innocent card. Because he, he's I, not. Remove that. Hold on. Let me just remove that. Your legal team writes out and asks us to write these letters mm -hmm. on your behalf. I write a nice letter on your behalf. Listen, listen, this is my experience with Melissa. Boom, 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 boom. And then it turns out that, oh, she did that shit. Mm -hmm. She was found guilty. Mm -hmm. I, 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 why am I now persecuted for, I didn't see that side of you. I've never known that side to exist. I'm doing what was doing, asked of you. would still be persecuted. I know, but, but, I'm saying, but, but, but my that's why I put the, the why. That's why I put the innocent piece in. So if if Mel is our friend, let's say we have a five year relationship with Mel, not nine months. We have a five year relationship of working with Mel every yeah, single day, or, and yeah. we have a idea of who Mel is at her core because we have five years of intimately working with Mel. Let's say Mel has been accused of something and she's innocent, and we say, "Yo, I'm not going to write you a letter because it might have backlash on my career." She's innocent. I'm never speaking to you again in my fucking life. Because you if put your who? career, if I'm Mel me. and she's innocent me. and Ish didn't write her a letter based off what the backlash was going to be to my career, if Mel gets found innocent, I'm never speaking to you again in my fucking life, nigga. You put your career on what some some critics was going to say over our friendship. Yeah, but you'll stop talking to friends. I will. <laughs> you motherfucking cut <laughs> right, nigga. That's I thing, will. That's the thing about you, buddy. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying? Like, in, in this you, I would respect that. A, I feel like we've had that little fight before. I, I don't. You I, wouldn't respect some... No. It's your friend. Well, your life is online. And your friend it, should it, write it, you a fucking it, your character letter it, instead of worried about him being okay, in the so next question, film. Okay, so you question. Okay, so no question. You got no with pens? <laughs> question. <laughs> but all of them catching it. Wait, hold on a second. Anybody that wrote a letter is going to okay, catch it. Okay, how about this? Forget guilt and innocence. Mm -hmm. Let's just say that in this circumstance, whatever it is I've been accused of, there has been... There has been... Uh, not just rumblings, but there has been a lot of talk. Like it's not, it's not like it was a complete and total surprise. It's like these accusations keep coming up, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Nah, I can't do you believe that? that? Hmm? I've, I've been accused of some multiple. Do you times believe that though? I didn't do it. Do you believe same, that where there's smoke, there's same fire? Same thing here. Yeah. I've been accused of some stuff too, multiple times. And it's nasty. What I was trying to find, I was actually trying to find the court records that actually, um, you know, uh, fully explained what. The um, not just the victim impact statements, but also like their testimony. They must was, have had overwhelming evidence, it was, it was, it was, or, or, or what they think was for overwhelming. For that type of yeah, I'm absolutely. Not, I and I started off saying that if he life? did that shit. Put that nigga under the jail. I'm not excusing him at all. At all. Ice's question was, and I would like to these, see more sentences like that for these uh, people let that are my friends. These people had a long-standing relationship with me, and they know me to be X. Why can they not write a letter to the court saying I know this person to be X? without public persecution. 
That's not. I don't think some people don't acknowledge it. I don't think that makes you a apologist, by the way. I don't think that's true. That's some of them fucking words that they started. Yeah, they started using that word. Rape apologist. They just made that word. That was my question. Why does that make you a rape apologist? I don't think it does. It's just a word they made up. It is. You defending the friend that you just had a a different experience from. Not saying that. I'm pretty sure if Ashton find out or found out that homeboy was guilty of that shit, he would have never probably wrote the letter. Okay, so question. Okay, let me ask you. Okay, let me ask you this. I'll use uh, Woody Allen as as a as an example. Mm-hmm. Okay, he's never faced charges for um, anything that he's been accused of, but he was accused by his stepdaughter, stepdaughter. Um, of molesting her when she was a little girl. I, I I don't. I think I don't he got think taken. So. To, I think he got taken. To I, court. But I think it was civil. Oh, I don't think it was. It was okay, criminal. Maybe, maybe okay, sure. so there's there has been when there has been. He huh? was. He yes. married. He, he married. He married his stepdaughter. He married his stepdaughter. No, yeah. not, not her. A different, a different daughter. Different. Oh, okay, okay, exactly. okay. Okay. So true. let's just say he ends up, see, you know, seeing his day in court, and it's and it's actual criminal charges. Do you feel right. like there's anybody that should come to his defense, knowing that this is this this is the storied history that he has? <sighs> Writing the letter of, um, well, I don't know. I, my, his character is such and such, and he's a great filmmaker, and blah, blah, blah. Bring, it doesn't negate the fact that. I want to bring up an example, right? I want to bring up an wow. example, but I just hate using him as an example so much. But we know of an artist, we know of a person that had um, some domestic issues in the past, mm-hmm. right? Fast forward, that person got accused of rape, mm-hmm. right? So. Does that mean because he had a troubled past with a domestic situation that he is now potentially guilty of the rape? What you are saying is, based on your past, then that makes it more valid, the charges that have been presented against him. Deme- no, domestic... I'm, Mel, uh, no, can wait, I I'm finish d- speaking? I'm just saying, Please, I'm Mel, just- can I talk? So now, going forward, he came out with some text messages and some other proof showing he didn't rape this girl at all. Correct. If he did not have that proof, then the same, what you are saying, would be applicable to him. Domestic violence doesn't necessarily mean rape, but molestation and rape, those are in the same category. I'm not, just, never mind, forget it. He's just saying that having a troubled past. I, no, I and, understand what he's saying. I get the troubled past, but it's just like robbery doesn't equal murder. You know what I'm saying? Like a DUI does, doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be, you know, a hijacker what or whatever the no, case is. exactly like what they do, do, though. But if you've assaulted somebody in the past. If you then, have, a, if you, if there is a rumored and storied history of you having, pre, of you exhibiting predatory behavior towards women it is not a far cry that that is in fact like when you get the, when agree. the accusations like, are leveled hey, against you in a court of law it's not a, it, it's not like a far cry from like oh my god I'm clutching my hey, pearls I would never have thought that like I don't think nobody wrote them letters for R. Kelly right okay because of the, the, the past of this I, do we know this particular dude that we were the, the initial topic Danny Madison to have these accusations and here's the thing with that Conan O'Brien thing here's the thing this is just my opinion it means absolutely fucking nothing but the way Conan said that it sounds like around Holly fucking I'm saying that that that, that part is and I heard it and I didn't I don't hear that that's why I said it's my opinion and it don't mean shit I hear him being a good comic host etc and getting the joke in on top of that that's what I heard the way she explained it at first and it just worked out later, and later on down the line, like, oh don't shit. mean that Conan O'Brien. I don't, I don't initially. I don't, yeah, I don't, yo, some, some some people don't care about getting ridiculed when it comes to defending their friends and families. Right. Some people don't care about right. public perception when it comes to defending their friends and, and family. Should. It's so easy, yeah, like I facts. said before, to jump on a bandwagon because that is acceptable in society today. Yes, Who gives right. a fuck, nigga? If ah, uh, you did that, you did that, nigga. You go, you go to jail. But I'm a, I'm gonna write my love that I have for you and my experience for you, and I don't give a fuck who feels away Trendy. because you my family. That's how that's our experience. About Every, no next you know, so, no so, next society has society has judged so many people because it's the norm now. Mm-hmm. It's the norm to judge somebody. Oh, you a clown? Oh, your man is your man is doing dirty, yeah. and you still co-signing him? Yeah. Now both of you, that's that's wrong. That's not right, nigga. I, I, nigga, I don't lay in the same bed with this nigga. What he eat don't make me shit. But now I get judged because society deem it acceptable to judge sure. me because that's my man. You're right. That's ridiculous. I, I, that was, you're not mm-hmm. able to think. You're doing exactly what they did us back in the days. You're thinking for, you, you just, you want people to follow how you feel. Mm-hmm. You want people to follow how you think. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's so easy. How much niggas I always talk about they turned on? 
I'm gonna bring it back. Kanye, all, it's just easy for niggas to when he starts saying stupid shit, man, fuck that nigga. Because society says, nigga, if you stand with him, you you're a problem too. You, 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 you're part of his and, belief. And dog, Never. Not for nothing, the powers that be, they do that shit. They'll divide and conquer us. Mm -hmm. So that's your man for 10 years. That's your man. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna threaten your future and say, you can't get no money over here. So now you're gonna separate yourself from your man and not show solidarity with your man that you've known 10 years and you don't know that to be his character. I feel like I agree with a lot of what y'all are saying, just not as it applies to Danny Masterson. No, I'm... Again, we don't give a we fuck about him. Danny Masterson. We all, I don't give a fuck about him. Put him under the jet. 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 Put that nigga, pour concrete on him. The same way that he's getting treated legally? My only... Pour concrete on him. Fuck it. Instance, my only question was why are... Myla, um, and Mila, Kunis Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher looked at and it like apologists. And was there something in that letter that says... Y'all want to fuck her bad, huh? Yeah. No, and we know Ashton <laughs> well, Kutcher's... Yes. And, yo, dog, so no, knowing Ashton <laughs> Kutcher's <laughs> history... <laughs> no, I mean, knowing Ashton Kutcher's not. history, my nigga, he's an advocate for all of the non-fuck shit. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. That nigga has put his career, his money up, his everything, all of Talk his resources it. into shit that are... Uh, he's an advocate for fair yeah. human rights. So if that nigga wrote a letter, I think it's because it was heartfelt. I don't think it was because, you know what I'm saying? His experiences with this dude have been just. And a lot of niggas that be creeps and do shit like that, they're not doing it for their peoples to see him well, do it. Well, or doing it for their But peoples. I think that that was exactly my point. You know, why would Ashton Kutcher know anything intimately about how he conducts himself with Correct. women? Because True. what? How the fuck? How is he going to I see agree. the so predatory behavior? You're not going to see a so lot. Why of would he not write for his men? It's just made about. Uh, Ashton uh, Kutcher's him. Ashton Kutcher, as far as all the philanthropy, like, he's him. He, I, that child, he, and I agree that with child that. predator shit, but all on, of that child top, trafficking shit. On top shit. of that, though, Ashton Kutcher, I'm not familiar with the, the lady, but Ashton Kutcher is when we talking about the legal system and just society. Ashton Kutcher is closer to dinner with the lawyers and the judges and then ever to ever be affected by the people that was trying to affect Iggy Azalea with this. Y'all can write what y'all want. I'm wealthy, wealthy. She wealthy, wealthy. We going home over here in Hollywood where this is the world. Yeah, I don't just don't I don't see it. Yeah, that'll be fine, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, yeah he don't care yeah. about yeah. Yeah, that nigga was up about. here in congressional hearings. Like he up up. Mm. You know yeah, what I'm saying? What I'm He's saying. up. up. No, I'm not I'm disagreeing. Saying. I'm just saying. But if I know you to be a certain way, maybe it was a, you just never just dis displayed that around me. New Joe Biden.